<laughs> so don't feel bad because it's all like Houston area. they're not around here. There's like 508 <laughs> nationwide. <coughs> and I have no idea. Ready when you are, miss. Sounds good. <coughs> Jared, are you ready? For what? For yeah. everything and anything? Are you ready? Cool. Are we recording? We are now. Oh, hi! Awesome. <laughs> hi, Garrett's mom. Hi, Garrett's mom. Garrett! Huh? What's the recap? <laughs> oh, just, man, just so much stuff. <laughs> just we were talking about um, your notes. <laughs> you want me to read them? <laughs> Garrett, spell that's what the recap a, is. That's a terrifying question. I'll read them verbatim because I'm illiterate and this will be fun. Travel to Vad's house, being watched. <laughs> I whisper things to Mare. Kari prays to Raven Queen. Wolves escort us on approach to house. Decent sized estate, not overly opulent. Vic couldn't enter house. Mare, Riker, and Kari felt a resistance. Table set for food. Booze. Mare wants to uh, Sudoku herself. And that was the last thing I wrote. <laughs> I'm a good note taker. You know, there was there was debates. There were words had. We were trying to determine how and what we would do in the presence of the vampire man. We were trying to discern whether or not he could be trusted. Of course, no. He's evil. Anyway. So yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, what did he say? Why make billions when we could make millions? <laughs> Fucking dumb movie. <laughs> Great movie though. Uh, so yeah. It's the kind of movie. It's like when I walk through and mom and dad have it on. I'm like, I would sit and watch this with you, but it feels weird. <laughs> you know, it feels wrong. <laughs> Uh, Y'all had a debate as Vlad pretty much said, hey, look, here's the deal. I, I can help you with some information because I hear what things say. I'm just finishing the last half of the recap. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> and y'all went away into a room and debated for a long time about whether to do or not do what the vampire wants. And eventually you guys came back out and he said to each one of you, okay, cool. You're not gonna hunt me, you're gonna forget that you ever met me and a whole slew of things. And you all, through one form or another, agreed to do those things or not do those things. <laughs> and then it ended with a simple, so you have questions for me as Vlad is sitting there at his long table Stretched out with one of his wives next to him. Well, one thing we did not talk about over the last three weeks. What questions we have? So. <laughs> Vlad sits back and goes, So, you have questions for me? First question will be how do we stop what's happening? So, you mean to put, put it back? things back where they were? Ah. Prior to the big blackness in the sky. Well, I would probably start with shutting down the main portal. Seems to be where most of the energy is coming from. That portal be located. That portal is in. That has to wait for the darkness to whisper. Uh -huh, yep, this is <laughs> waiting for the darkness to whisper. The house is telling him things. I feel like the house is a tattletale. You know what the house says. That's some shit talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> the portal is beneath the Black Shadow Mountains. 
Can you point out of game? Can you point on the map? For northwest a corner. The mountain range northwest. The big mountain up there. Well, crap. Is that where we have been told by Alara things were going to be at, or is that the a little bit further south? Because Alara had said something about a different mountain range. I don't remember what she said particularly in regards to that. Oh yeah, the, the Titan's Teeth is the other mountain range to the east. Those are the big, the biggest and all like snow-capped You said big Titan mountains. is where the body's buried. The, I, the, I feel like that would be accurate. The Titan's Teeth are the big, there's <clears throat> very tall, jagged, snow-capped mountains. The, or is it too uh, The Black Shadow <laughs> is, is the... Wait, can you see a laser? Do you got the laser? Do you got the laser? Can you see a laser, please? Thank you. It's here. Titan's Teeth is here. Zort is right there. The Black Shadow Mountain is that big one in that range, and they're all... And where's Raven's Heart? Not quite right, Pete. Good. There. Awesome. And you guys are there. <laughs> We're all the way over there. That's a long walk. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. I have many more questions, but if anybody else wants to jump in, please do so while I panic. <clears throat> I don't mean questions come to mind, but I'm not going to ask. <laughs> Anything else? Mm. Do you happen to know? Who was, who or what, excuse me, is there guarding the portal? Oh, that would be the Baylor Bacchus. <sighs> How do you spell that? B-A-K-P-A-S. We've run across his name before. What would be the best way of shutting down the portal? So I might suggest starting with disrupting the rooms around it. Okay. So not some big mechanism. We don't know where the rooms are. <clears throat> may not be in that room. That's fair. Riker starts looking around the room a little bit. Just taking things in and seeing. As a reminder, this room that y'all are in uh, is this large, like very long table with a bunch of food and stuff set out on it. At the back end is uh, just a big sort of high back chair that he's sitting in. There are four big razors, two sort of behind him and two right back of the door, the double door that y'all walked in. How far away from him? The brazers? Nope. How far away is Riker from him? I mean, how far y'all want? It's just wherever you're sort of standing at. He's sitting. He's, flat. he's sitting there, and you guys have sort of come in. There are the there's two doors on each side, um, and you guys came in from the uh, sort of back closest to him. So, like, if he's sitting here. Y'all would have come in the door that would be like right there. So it'd be like a door there, a door there, a door there, and a door there. And y'all came in that door from the back room that y'all had been mm -hmm. meeting in. <clears throat> so you're probably standing, you know, right about here where you walk in. He's sitting here. It's right here about 30 feet away from him. Oh, yeah. Okay. You heard anything about the Provis King? Throughout this game. I've heard that his location has been found. 
Do you want to know where that is? Is that your next question? Do you want us to be able to actually do what you asked us to do whenever you brought us here? I told you how to deal with the darkness. It takes the abyss back out of here. I'm just saying, if you feel like being stingy with your information whenever a question was asked, it's up to you. You asked if I knew. What okay. more would you like to know? What more can you tell me? Quick reminder, who was the Protoss King again? I'm He's the Titan that they're trying Protoss. to bring back. That's what I thought. He was the first Titan. Yeah. What more would you like to know? <clears throat> I'd like to know whatever more you know. Mm -hmm. I prefer more direct questions. Does anybody me know how to raise the first king yet? Sorry, be more specific. Does the enemy know the location of all the items they need? Yes, they know how to raise it. No, they do not know the location of all the items. That's cool. It's the worst bit of good news we've gotten. <clears throat> Are you curious about where it is? He's buried beneath the Titan Seas. Close to Zort. Do it. Very close. Does Riker see the other wives? Uh, make a perception check. 18. <clears throat> You see, you see one more standing, uh, it would be sort of in that back corner-ish, like over that direction. Behind us or? Yeah, so if you guys came in here or sort of standing where like Garrett's at, Hello. and he's sitting here, there's one wife sort of right here, and you see one back that over there. Uh, I think you did. He did. Oh, yeah. Was there so, was three. Three. Oh, did he? Mm hmm. Wow, I totally didn't get that. Then again, I didn't finish re listening to the thing, so. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Where is Cindigar located? Or where does he make his, his base of operations? <clears throat> In the lowest caverns of Zort. Oh, shit. What was the question? Zort. Where is Syndicar? Yeah. The dwarves don't live there anymore. The what don't live there? The dwarves. Dwarves. Oh. Oh. Didn't we hear something was going on over there at Zord? I feel like that's did. That's where we had originally heard that um, they were going to be starting their fight from whenever we were talking to Alara. Mm -hmm. other things. Would closing the portal uh, weaken Syndicar? That might depend on the time. Syndicar is greater 
than when you last saw him. He's drawn the power from all of this. Closing the portal won't immediately take that away. It'd have to take time to shed off him. Will destroying some of the obelisks help? And if so, how do we destroy those? If I remember correctly, I believe I told you all that the obelisks weren't there. They dispelled their magic up into oh. and sort of away. I thought we just didn't see any. Because you all saw the black pillars coming out of each one, making, you know, bringing this, and in that, they sort of went away. Is Orcus making his way to this plane of existence again? He's certainly trying to. What's currently preventing him from getting over here? <laughs> his power. He theaters as close to godhood as human can be, and therefore the shell surrounding this plane doesn't want him to come through. Not to say that he can't, though. The certain combination of magics might let him through. What combination? Powerful sacrifices with the right runes in place. He came close not so long ago. And uh, I do believe it was you all who stopped that. Have they acquired any additional sacrifices? To prepare for it? None as good as the one you had reclaimed. I don't think their next attempt will work. Who is their next attempt with? The Dwarven Queen from Zort. I don't think that's something that will be fixed quickly, if at all. That came about when <coughs> planes were ripped and torn. He had others, but I believe you've taken care of all of them. His powerful allies that remain are those that he sent forth before him. King is busy with other matters. I 
don't think he's taken much interest in this current situation here. Is there anything else, or should I get back to my meal? Then you're all welcome to join me, of course. Keep Have you ever had long pork? <clears throat> no. It's quite good. Um. We did another, Mayor did another conversation with Tamora a while back where we had asked about a couple of different things. And I can't remember, because we had asked something about like, I can't remember if it was weapons or something else. But maybe if you can find those notes and questions we asked her. There was a magic sword. Isn't there always a magic sword? <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> So well, not right now, we've got the magic glaive of awesome. He just made his comment about long pork, so Riker's going to go ahead. So, uh, what would you say is your favorite delicacy? How long have you been in your bloodlust state? How long has I been like this, you mean? <laughs> Half a millennia or so. So you must have feasted upon almost every form of human being there is to feast upon. Hmm. Don't keep a running tally, but you could say almost. Almost. <laughs> you are quite unique. I am. I have to say, I'm probably the only thing you've not feasted on. I don't know about the only thing. Hmm. Can I do a, an insight check? Hmm. On Riker and on our host? Because it feels like the tension is rising. <laughs> Sure, if you if you are you trying to catch the vibe in the room and see. If... Just trying to catch the vibe. Oh. Seventeen. Seventeen. Do you feel the tension rising, Riker? <laughs> Riker is getting happier. <sighs> starts to scowl ever so slightly. <laughs> 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 Hospitality never ends well. <laughs> Did Mary say that out loud? Mm, more of a mumble under my breath. Augustina's gonna chuckle dryly at that because technically he broke them first. I must say, uh, can't say I've uh, tasted much from other planes either. No. Hmm. Do you taste the soul in the blood? <clears throat> Don't believe so. It just tastes like copper pieces. I'm curious. Yes. You have the last of my kind standing before you right now. Yes. Surely. Are you a completionist? There's got to be at least a curiosity. <clears throat> I do believe you are trying to provoke me. I don't believe I'm asking you a question. 
I am a curious sort, but not foolish. <laughs> no. Maybe not. Absent-minded, maybe? Would you give me a taste? As you seem quite capable, to take one who seems a what lot of the effort. Payment be. A I taste of the last of its kind? That would have to be worth something. I must say, my curiosity may not be that high, but I do like to negotiate. Mm. What would one offer? What would one desire? In your house, what would one offer? I do have many things. But something tells me you are not one who cares much for the material. I'd say you'd be right. What could I offer you that's greater than that which you've already been given? Hmm. I guess you don't have anything really to offer, do you? Not to you. <clears throat> Pity. Pity. All right, we'll just lean back a little bit. Any other questions? It looks as though our business is concluded. Almost. I agreed in your house. But I don't believe in letting monsters go, and I am not trying to save the world from monsters. Only to let an arrogant fool run about. And that includes myself, and that includes you. I never promise not to kill your wives. And Riker is going to attack. To move up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, in that case, I Did believe we're going. Turn on the we're going into initiative then. Yes. So could Riker you? said that over the intercom. <laughs> yeah, we're going into initiative. Oh, we get a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. You can't just threaten a man's wife, John. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Wes. He attempted to charm mine. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, it's warranted now. Mm. And if it wasn't before, he also said he's never tasted a lot from other planes. Which oh, yeah. also includes your wife. Oh, yeah. So. All of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about me. And it's not all about you, you know. True, true. <laughs> I'm not married to you, though. <laughs> not this game. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all couldn't have offered Kari up. No. You're just trying to feed me to a vampire. And see how this is. Oh, yeah. This is the Dungeon Master way, right? <laughs> VJ's characters to the vampires? Well, I meant players, for sure. I mean, we can be specific. Oh. Oy vey. How many weeks has it been? hundred? I was confusing myself because I had things to look good. Oh my goodness. We're doing a battle. Hello, microphone. Seem like bongo e drums made me think of Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. Dude, the first Crash Bandicoot has some good music. Oh, it's so good. So good. 
Anyone play the Insane Trilogy when they put that out a while ago? Oh. It's just it plays exactly like the old ones. It's just pretty. Or Spyro. Mm. Oh, Spyro's good. I never, I didn't have a PlayStation, so if I ever got to play any of those games, it was at someone else's house. Do we still only see two wires at this Banjo. point? It's still there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have a tattoo. I'm cool kid now. Um. Let's do this. I need to roll the initiatives. Okay. Uh, Dice. Yes. I pre-rolled my initiative. Is that okay, Dungeon Maester? That's okay. That was exciting to roll. He said roll, didn't he? Oh. Because I rolled. Yeah, I, I rolled. <laughs> I, just, I didn't hear that. I was too excited about killing bastards. <laughs> Can you look around the doors, but I couldn't buy a There it is. What have we Take your darling out of the strategies. Uh, let's see, at this point in time, it's uh. Green, uh ooh, that's not good. Cluster. Okay. This is right here, just reacting good. very emotionally. Why do you think it's not be good? No. Two of his lawyers got very low initiatives. All right. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get over it. So, uh, over 20. 25. 25? 24. 24. Ooh. Yo. He really wants to murder. Okay. Let's see. 25. Fukari. 4. Riker. Over 15? 16. 18. Oh, nice. Wow. You're having a game. Now you're part of the game. Um, twelve. You said twelve. This is Vlad's paper. No. <laughs> just get rid of the, I'll make this easier for you, just get rid of the second yeah, page. Yeah. We're the first. That means all the stats go away. Everything stressed to make it easy on yourself. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> Alright, where, where am I at? You go first. Sorry. You are here. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm -hmm. Seeing that uh, uh, Riker is going to start a fight. Um, Where are you going? I'm uh, going to pick a fight. Going <laughs> to pick a fight? Uh, Kari, keeping, feeling the accent take hold, is going to go ahead for Wife in the Corner. Okay. Do I show it to her? And staying in the same room as everybody else this time. <gasps> Uh, I'm proud of that. <laughs> <sighs> I don't feel like the Venom Dagger is going to do on this one. All right, uh, Kari is going to start attacking. Okay. Uh, dirty 20. A dirty 20 for Camilla will hit. What's her name? Camilla. Camilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. I appreciate that. I understood that reference. Uh, and 21. Uh, also will hit. It was technically written before Dracula. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Yes, sir. 11 points on the first hit. And 11 points on the second hit. Okay. Bonus action. Punch some more. 
22. Spend the key point. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. 22. And 19. Uh, they both will hit. Okay. Cool. Uh, 12 points. And 14 points. 12 and 14. Okay. Pretty solid opener. Not bad, not bad. All right. That was your movement and action, bonus action. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, For now. At the end of your go, Vlad is going to use. Let's see here. Yeah, he's going to use uh, two legendary actions to cast Greater Invisibility. Oh. Is that a counter spell? Okay. Um, revealing herself. See another one of the wives. As she casts Counterspell, do your Counterspell. Okay. Counterspell. So, counterspell. Good reveal. But Ed, the table got flipped. It was, yeah, it was serious. Okay, that was the end of your go. Wreck you up. I looked at where Vlad was. Okay. And I hit him. Actually. Bonus action. <gasps> Bonuses. <laughs> Did you get him? <clears throat> I can sense that he's right there. Yes. I'll look, coat my weapon in holy oil, and then hit him. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> it's a holy weapon. That's some holy shit, y'all. No, I hope not. Mm. <laughs> well, that's what Vlad will say. It's going to be a 25 no, to hit. 24 to hit. 24 will hit, yes. That is Riker's version of flipping someone. <laughs> 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 He's just sitting here. Not yet. <laughs> Eight. Eight. 18 plus 9 is 27. 27? Plus. What is that? 6 radiant. 27 slashing? Yes. Okay. Uh, he is resistant to that. So 27 halved, so 26 halved well, would be 13. Is the plus 10 slashing? Yes. Okay. Cool. So 13 and how much radiant? Six. Six. So 13. Uh, nine. So that's 19. Modified 20. Okay, uh, that will hit. Twenty slashing. And Reduce seven rating. Seventeen. And then that's going to be a nineteen. Uh, nineteen will hit. Three radiant and twenty slashing. Okay, so that's half to <clears> ten, <throat> so thirteen. Okay. The bonus action, movement, action, action surge. Um, he needs to make some con checks real quick. Concentration. That's a success. That is success. That's success. Okay. Action surge. Okay. Oh my god, he's gonna do it again. Modified 20. Hit. Eight radiant, and that's going to be 26 slashing. 13, 8, 21. Natural 20. 
Yes. Ah, 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 ah. Do it. And dead. <laughs> 33 slashing. Okay. And okay. then 12 radiant. 33, 16, 12, 28. My brain. That was doubled. What? Yeah. So yeah, that was doubled. And then that's going to be a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Twenty-seven slashing and eight radiant. Seven, twenty-six, thirteen, eight, and twenty-one. <clears throat> did he maintain concentration on the? No, he did not. Let's go. Your boy. Well done. <laughs> Rush up and unleash a flurry of attacks against him. How's he looking now that we can see him again? <laughs> Is uh, he happy or sad? He's not happy. Okay, that's good. He's not quite bloody yet, though. But okay. Um, t- 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 okay. it is now his turn. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Shocker. He. What does he want to do? He is so surprised he misses his turn. I'll take that. He will make two sword strikes against you, Riker. Uh, that is going to be ooh, that's great. That is a critical strike with his sword. Nice. He has a sword. He's got a Fourteen. Fourteen plus nine. My brain, 14 plus 9, 20. 23. So 23 points of slashing and 4 points of psychic. And you watch as he heals up a little bit. Uh, okay. Even with taking radiant damage? Yep, this is heal from a different source. Also for the. Right. Uh, it's first attack, second attack going to be a 29 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16 <clears throat> points of slashing damage and 6 psychic. How close was his wife on all of my hits? Uh, because I do splash damage. Is it within 10 feet? Do you really? Or 5. 10. 10. Yeah, she, she was within 10 feet, yeah. She's in the splash zone? Uh, she so she would, all that radiant would have splashed to her. <laughs> well, on the first one. On the first attack. Oh, it was only the first attack? So that would have been 6. Okay. Uh, how, how did, is that from the glade? <clears throat> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Adriana takes 6. Adriana. Okay, um, and then for his third attack, he's going to attempt a bite attack against you. Rude. 23 to hit? Does that include a grapple of any type? No. Okay. That will hit. Okay. Essentially. Actually, it was supposed to be a disadvantage, I'm sorry, because you're not grappled. Uh, 23 is the lower one. Yeah, he can try to grapple you, and he does not a disadvantage for that. So you take... You take six points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And where is my... Where's my bag of dice? It's there. I think that means you, like, automatically roll, like, low as possible. Mm-hmm. On the table, behind your screen. Oh, it's on the table. Thank you. Awesome. You know the good old-fashioned bag of these? Bag of these? Bag of dice. Next one. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, and right, and then you take nine points of necrotic damage, uh, and your maximum hit points are reduced by nine. All right, that was his first action. For his second action, he is going to do that again. He's going to make two more sword strikes against you. What? That's a 23 to hit. Mm Mm-hmm. That's 19 points of slashing damage, two points of psychic. And then that is a 30 to hit Mm -hmm. for 21 points of slashing damage and four points of psychic. And Wrecker is bloody. And then he's going to attempt one more bite on you. At disadvantage. No. 13. So this time as he tries to bite and see it coming, you sort of slide out the way. Uh, and that will be the end of his go. It is not Adriana's <coughs> go. She... Move around here. What's her movement speed? There you go. <laughs> yeah, she'll move up to you. Oh, hi. She, she runs up to you and she pulls out a uh, long sword. And then she will make her three attacks against you. Awesome. Yes. That's just very rude. Uh, that is a 20... Five to hit. Are we saying I have my weapons out or no? I mean, you said you went with okay, you. You know, you said you, you moved in, so. Okay, so I would be at 19, so with shield it wouldn't do any good. Uh, I have so that first one is going to be 10 points of slashing damage. What? Uh, Second attack. Oh, yeah. that's a 16 to hit. That'll miss. Cool. And the last attack. Nope, that's an 11. Okay. Awesome. That was all she got. And nope, she took radiant damage from the splash, so she could not heal that. <laughs> uh, Mary, you're up. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to upcast Bless. Okay. And we'll put it at... Let me make sure. Because there's one additional person at every level up. Yes. He's further away, but even that, he's still within 30 feet. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bless on everybody. A D4 added to attacks and saving throws. Okay. Uh, nice. I'm not going to bother putting a bless ring on everybody if it's for everybody. You just have a concentration ring. Yep. So. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> everybody remember you got bless. And then I will go ahead and back up towards the wall after everybody's got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tuck back in there. All right. Uh, let's see here. At the end of your pers- at the end of your turn, Vlad will use. Whoa. Vlad will use two more legendary actions to cast. How many does he have? 
Well, he gets him back on his turn, and he had his turn. Oh my goodness. Uh, he is going to cast a Dominate Person. Which I believe is the Wisdom save. Double, so. double checking that as soon as this pulls up. So, uh, Riker, do you like a wisdom save from you? <laughs> Here we go. Yes, wisdom save. Modified 20. Modified 20. Leave. You find his stat. Yeah, yeah. That will. That will succeed. Nicely done. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that was at the end of Mare's Go. Freddy, you're up. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. So, who's that sort of behindish me? This one? That is Adriana. And who's the other people's? Uh, where'd you go? Laser point? So the person directly behind you is me. Yeah, so that's Steen's. That's yeah. Steen's. It's Adriana. Vlad. Okay. Um, well, I want to get in with Riker on the spare ropes and Get flanking on Vlad. Okay. Yeah. Move around here. Try to kick this chair out the I way. Mean, I could have said gangbang, but that would have been weird. Um, there's a big old throne chair right behind him, so you can try to make a strength check to push it out the way if you're trying to actually get flanking. Could you not just stand in it and have high grass? Yeah. Anakin? I mean, if you want to try to stand <laughs> up in it and do some like swashbuckling <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, just cool. make a Next make check. an make an acrobatics check just to see how well you maintain your balance as you climb Come up. Come on, up. you're on chips. You can do this. Oh no, I rolled a two that autos to ten for a modified twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm on a chair. <laughs> you're on a chair yeah. and you leave Adriana's. Sphere, so she makes an attack opportunity against you. I got a thing for that. Giant middle um, finger. Will that do? Uh, yeah, yeah, cut kind of action. I'll just no, don't touch me. Leave okay. me alone. Okay, bonus action disengage. Leave me alone, skank. Is that yes. what you're doing? Okay. Right, bonus action disengage. Bonus action disengage. And then I'll go for um, arrest stealer hit on dude, dude man McCool here. Okay. Okay. You have a plus four to that? I, yes. <clears throat> or a plus D4. Down. Right? Yeah, plus D4. Yes. 14 and 12 for 26. 26 will hit. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Sneak attack first, because that's how I do. And we're so proud of you. There's 10, there's 20, 26. 26, half to 13. Boo! So, why, why is uh, my sneak attack at half? Uh, he seems resistant to all physical attacks. Okay, well that's the big dumb. So your sneak uh, attack is technically piercing damage. Sure, yeah. Or well, slashing, whichever sword you're using, yeah. The okay, yeah. And then for the actual slashing, Ten. Okay. And then does have the is there that does this thing do psychic that I forgot about? Your rest doing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait, why? Oh, yeah. Oh, six, cool. Mm -hmm. And then his constitution save to see if he still has a reaction. Okay, I cannot type that. It's been a while. I forgot how my sword works. Uh, six. Uh, yeah. Con sword works too. Con save. Oh my god. For a two? 23. That fails. I'm sorry, what was the question? 23 for that con save. <laughs> yeah, he still has a reaction. Okay. Okay. So I move, I bonus, I action. Too bad you couldn't steal his legendary actions. That would be pretty awesome. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe we can upgrade. That would be a legendary weapon. To, <laughs> to, 
couldn't paint it. At what cost do you want to upgrade that weapon? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no more booze would be a pretty big torture for Gray. I'm willing to feed it Vlad. How's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm currently doing that. Just acts as a giant. Okay, strong... movement action, bonus action. That would be the end of your go. Uh, can I can I get a like? What does he have on his person? What can I see on on Mister Vlad the the pointy tooth? Uh, Vlad the pointy tooth is dressed in um, fairly nice, like fancy loungewear, if you will. <laughs> right, like like he's in a, he's in like a, a nice sort of just resting sort of jacket like he's he seems very nice and dressed you know the high collar mm, okay. it's it he claims it's comfortable is it we'll see I, you know um he, but he does have just the sword uh sheath on his side and that seems to be pretty much it he doesn't seem to be dressed in a whole lot okay that is going to be next on my board <laughs> so uh teens um, I am going to, through our wedding rings, cast Spirit Shroud on, can I? Yes, it is third level. Let's cast Spirit Shroud on Riker, and so she basically, the ghosts, she asks the ghosts in the room if anyone feels like joining the fight, and there's a couple of victims who decide to take um and <laughs> the ghost floats in he's like you lied to me bastard <laughs> you lied to me you lied um, to me okay, so you're concentrating on spirit shroud yeah okay. and then and i've got it set to radiant okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and use eldritch blast oh, bless it, eldritch. Um, so, sorcery point. Mm. Oh no, uh, spirit, spirit shot is a bonus. Yeah. Um, okay, so I get three of these. Uh, first one. The first one's gonna be a Vlad, it's a 19. Okay. Um, does that hit? Yes. What do you mean? Sanity. Um, I got D10s, D8s, D6s, <laughs> D12s, D100s. But no sin. D100s would be awesome if we could do that. Uh, okay, so that's going to be one point of damage with the Radiant, and okay. then four points of uh, damage with Force. the Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, because he has been hit in the Spirit Shroud, he cannot heal until my next turn. Okay. Nice. Um, I'm so gonna do fun. one at the wife as well. Which one? Adriana, one? that's okay. right there. Uh, 17 to hit. 17? Uh, that will miss her. Okay, then we'll do one more at her. That's an actual 20. <laughs> Yo! Okay, that, that'll hit. Uh, I will take this. So that's he did seem be... resistant to your spell attacks. So both of them are specifically to the force damage from the... Both. Even the radiant? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, he's, he's still getting something cool going. Uh, that's going to be 7 double to 14 radiant on her, okay. and then 8 double to 16 force <coughs> damage. Very nice. And then I'm. I'm going. I don't want to get closer to that right either. Um. I'll back over towards Mayor. Okay. Over here towards Mayor. Uh, so you're at the end of your turn. Uh, what's he gonna do? Yep, Vlad is going to use a bonus action, or le his last legendary action. Uh, you watch as he's standing in front of you, he smiles, and he 
goes into like this almost mist and then <laughs> and is now standing. I don't suppose we get to try and over here as he do a do a thing. He becomes a mist and moves up to speed without provoking opportunity attacks. So, is he still a mist or has he reformed? No, he reforms. Damn far cloud. Uh, at the end of your turn, teens. It will be Krina's turn. Krina? Krina? Krina. Krina. You've just messed up my whole system. I had a wife and I was like, they're C wife, so the last one needs to be a B. So I can't be a B. <laughs> How dare you spell it with a K and then it'd be back. <laughs> Krina is going to extend her finger and a orange bead shoots off of it. Uh, she casts oh, fireball. Balls. And I will counterspell. And she will counter spell. She she's casting the spell. Mm-hmm. You can counter. A to counter you can spell. use your reaction at the same time. I cast counter spell. I need someone else to get it. <laughs> if I can. Uh, she's countering oh. <clears throat> at fourth level though. Hey, remember that big purchase that is needed for our bingo cards? Ring of counter spell is becoming a thing. <laughs> so. Oh shit! Fire. Well. Don't Everybody but Freddy. I don't know if I'm relevant to this equation. Am I relevant? Yep. Everybody but Freddy. <laughs> of course. I'm the other side of the map. That's a fair. And it's what saving throw? This would be a deck save. Oh, it's a fireball. Fireball, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that D4, though. Okay. <laughs> D4 made a difference. Oh, that's right. Can't help that your your blast. Let's go. Okay, going around, Mayor. Six. Six. Forty-two points of fire damage. Okay. Ow! And I'll need a concentration check from you. <laughs> you got to beat a 23. 23! <laughs> right? Nice! 42, oh, the 42 would be a 21. So, there you go. You maintain concentration. Yay. Kari. Um, modified 20. Modified 20. I rolled a 6, and he came out to a modified 20. Modified 20 will succeed. So I take no damage. Yes, because of evasion. Uh, Fuck. Teens. Uh, that was like a six. So 42 points of fire damage. Yeah, I'm trying to double check because I know I need to do the concentration check, but I could have sworn I took something that gave me advantage, so I'm trying to confirm that. On concentration checks? Warcaster would be the thing. Eldritch Mind, you have advantage on constitution saving throws that need to, main, to maintain your concentration on these. Nice. Uh, Did it help? And that's with just my modifier? Uh, yeah, your constitution saving throw. So as a sorcerer, oh. I think you're proficient in that. Yeah, it's, that's even better. 22. 22? You maintain concentration. Spiker. 19. 19. That is a Why did I write down that? That doesn't make sense. Because that's supposed to be That that's a success. Okay. okay. Good deal. <laughs> yeah. No, I have I, I have her saving throw down here was uh eight and I went, that's not it. Because I forgot to add in the other stuff. <laughs> that's her that's her. Yeah, no. Yes, that is a success. Jeez. I fell here, I was like, what the fuck? No. You're good. Okay, so that would be 21 points of fire damage. And I'm resistant. So, Ooh. half to get. Two, 21, two, ten. ten. Nice. <clears throat> uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So, she will... Yeah, she'll hang out there. After Krina's go, it is Camilla. Camilla? What does she do? Wait. Furp on that bar. 
Um, she will start by making two claw attacks against you, Kari. Tracks. Uh, nope, that's a 13. That's going to miss you. Oosh. That's a natural 20. Ah! Um, um, um. Stop it, Kendrick. Harsh. I was just saying, everyone. <laughs> harsh. <laughs> oh. Uh, that is going to be 11 points of slashing damage. Ah! And you are grappled. You're grappled? I'm grappled. And so for her second action, she's going to make another claw attack against you. Okay. That feels unnecessary. For another natural 20. That feels very unnecessary. Better her than Vlad, let's be real. Uh, You know it, okay. (laughs) So that's another nine points of slashing damage. And for her last attack, she's going to go for a bite. Now that she has you grappled. For her a 21 to hit. Uh, that just hits. Just hits. Can you do anything to make yourself more, more armor armor? Or does your dodging? Not in this moment, I'm grappled. You take 12 points of piercing damage. Ow! And 11 points of necrotic damage. Uh, half to five. Half to five, and your maximum hit points are reduced by five. Ow! Well, that's just rude. Okay. Uh, she kind of like where she's at. So, end her turn, and Kari, you're up. Revenge! <laughs> Fine. Y'all just sitting there. She's got you grappled. Is just hitting you with her claws, and you're like, "Fine, punch her." She bites you. You punch her back. <laughs> so how's a? It's like a high school. Real quick, girl. how is Camilla and Vladdy looking? Uh, Vlad is he's looking a little. He's looking a little bloody. Camilla is not. Okay, we're going to focus on her then. Uh, All right, we're going to start with some punch punches. Okay. That is a 29 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Uh, that will also hit. Uh, nice. That is 15 points of damage. And 13 points of damage. Okay. Key point. Hit it again. Uh, 22 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. I think it's right. I believe that it is. Um, that's a 30 to hit. Okay, yeah. Two more of that. Great. I like it. <clears throat> um, oops. That is 12 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> and 14 points of damage. And on that last one, let's go ahead and spend a key point and throw in a stunning strike. Okay. That's almost 13. Uh, yes. Stunning strike. Can't save. Uh, that's an 11. Stunned. Nice. Um, yeah, that's all Kari can do at the moment. Okay. Uh, there we go. Riker, you are up. Kicks Is Vlad within 30 feet of me? Uh, probably. You. Let's do it. Leap across this table. Yeah. Make a <laughs> athletics check. 
Athletics check. 15? 15, yeah. So you're blast. Oh, that's right. So more than 15? Doesn't work on uh, skill checks. <laughs> doesn't count on skill checks. It's just saving throws and attacks. Okay, then just 15. Yep. 30 will get you there. I'll hit him. 22. Uh, 22 will hit. You're the one who throws the D8, not me, on your spirit shot. Cool. That's fun. Eight points of radiant and 21 points of slash okay. slash. You're just to 10. More than last time. Okay. Three points radiant and 25 slashing. Nice. 25, 12. 17 plus 3 is 20 plus 9. 29. To hit? Yeah. Yes. I'm counting in my head. Out loud. 11 points radiant. 23 points slashing. Okay. Bonus action dodge. So 23 slashing? Yes. So number 11. I messed up on my math and I go back and fix it. <clears throat> yeah, I just accidentally healed him for 50 hit points and I was like, wait a minute, no. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, I don't know how that works, but uh, he went from, I, I prevented that. <laughs> he, he went from 160 damage to 150 and I went, wait a minute, or 110 and I went, oh, wait a minute, oops. My brain. I didn't think he wanted to do that. That's negative. Okay, uh, so that was all your go. Mm-hmm. It is Vlad's turn. Oh, no. Vlad, for his first action, oh, no. is going to cast Mirror Image. Oh, frack. Sale. <laughs> Dueling banjos. For his second action, he's going to make two attacks against your record. But he cannot heal because of the spirit strap, correct? Yes. Uh, that's going to miss you with an 11. Ooh-hoo. Second attack. Oh, I'm sorry. Not an 11. 14. Not bad. <laughs> uh, and that's going to miss you with a 19. Nice. Uh, and then he will try for the disadvantage bite attack. Nope, that's a 2 on the die. Beautiful. Okay, well, he Too managed bad. to cast mirror image on himself, so that's something. <laughs> We can work with that. Okay. Uh, bless his heart. I, I have to remember how mirror image works. How close is he to his wife? Did you say uh, yes, right? she took your eight points of radiant damage Good on job. your first attack. Uh, at the end of Vlad's go is Adriana's go. Adriana is going to go here. And she's going to make her attacks against... First attack is going to be a 24. Yeah. 13 points of slashing damage. Okay. Concentration check. 21. Okay. Second attack is a 25 to hit. Nah. For 10 points of slashing. Concentration check. Uh, 17 plus 6, okay. 23. You hit it twice. Yeah, did extra, one extra. Um, extra and extra. the last one is going to be a 13 to hit. So we can miss you. <gasps> oh, my flames. Mercy to save you. At the end of your go. What does it do? No, 
He's gonna. Okay, never mind. At the end of Adriana's go, it will be Mayor's turn. Alright, I am going to um, activate my Radiant Soul. Okay. Nice. Uh, my nice power. blue wings bamf out. I'm going to move um, up and around and get Adriana. Okay. Try and flank her? Yeah, for now. Okay. Um, and I will go ahead and take a smashy smash. Um, a 25 to hit? Uh, 25 will hit her. Cool, cool, cool. That is going to be... You call her an undead? Yes. That's a 2d6. Um, does she happen to have 25 hit points or fewer? No, she has more than 25 hit points. Okay, cool. Um, so that will be... Twenty-six points of damage. Okay. Um, only three of those, or hold on, only nine of those are uh, slashing. The rest are radiant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, Adrian. No. no. You said nine are slashing. Nine slashing. Okay. Uh, she's resistant to that. Radiant. She's resistant to the slashing. So the nine would go down to four. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, yes, but also, um, stop that. Okay. You're fine. Um, I need to do another D8 for my divine strike. Okay. So when I hit a creature with a weapon attack, uh, it deals an additional D8 radiant. Nice. Uh, four more radiant. Okay. Nice. Cool. Does Radiant seem normal to them, or does it hurt them more? Uh, it seems normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Anyway. All right, so that was your movement action, bonus action. That's it. Okay. Isn't buffing out your wings in action? Say for this one, you had a little bit of energy. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, instead of doing the attack, I can do a, a summon a spiritual weapon. Whichever one, honestly. Like we we can say that we we you and I both made a mistake. I you know so. Cool. We'll let we'll let we'll let it we'll pass. Let it we'll let it extra cool this time. Because you don't use that ability very often. But remember, uh -huh. it is an action. We will all remember. It is an action. There's, there's a lot going on. We will remember this. I will, I will probably need Not to go back and remedy something at some point anyway, so this is a lot. Um, it's a lot to keep in mind, I getcha. Mayor, that's the end of your that turn. That is all of my go. Freddy. No. It is your go. Okay. So, between the two of them, who looks more hurt? Between the you two. <laughs> Who's more hurt? Okay. Now between the two villains, who's more... Which two villains? The one he's engaged with and the one she's engaged with. I will um, let you know I can't be moving on my turn. Okay. Vlad probably looks more hurt than the wife right now. <sighs> if I were to move to either Vlad or um, Adriano, could I get flanking on either or both? Um, whom could flanking I have? I don't know if you'd be able to get, not without dashing, to get flanking on Vlad. And Adriana's kind of already got flanking on her. Who? Yeah, 
bonus action. You can bonus action dash. Yeah, but then I can <clears> hit two times. And I want to hit with both swords. Because it's fun. Um, your turn is next, right? And how bad off is the wife looking? Is she like bloody dish or? Mm, not quite. What's so, Kari doing? He's just okay. Hanging out in that corner, just has a good old time. Wailing on wife. I uh, say, so, yeah, wife number three looks the worst out of the wives. Oh, okay. Okay. Then Kari, you're you're good to go. You're doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> no. Kick her ass. So Camilla's with Kari. Mm-hmm. I'm flanking Adriana, yes. Augustina, and, and Kari is over here. Yeah, Kari is over here. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Well, let's try to kill one sooner than later, so I'll go ahead and move to Adriana. Okay. I'll do that. Just no. Uh, I'm no longer chair surfing. No, no, we're here. Okay. That seems less fun. Well, you know, um, ooh, I could have done that, but I didn't. All right, I will use my sword. And because she's engaged with other people, I can get. Um, you get sneak attack. You don't have advantage, though. Okay, that's fine. So, do you have a d4 for your yes, bless? I do. I uh, will use rest dealer first. All right, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> if I can get the dice out of the bag. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Well, I find twenty. Nice. That'll hit. I like it. It's a lot. Ooh. I like that. Come on, come on. Let's try that. So there's 10. There's 20. There's 6. So 26. 26 for sneaky. She is resistant to that. Ooh! How dare you! <laughs> and then uh, 12 for the actual slashing. Okay. Well, which she's also resistant to, so that's Yeah, sick. it's garbage. And then the psychic is three. Three, okay. Okay, and then 15 con for the thingy. For her reaction. Yeah. 15 con. Uh, no, that's 12. Hey. She doesn't have a reaction! And then, I'm sorry, I didn't say it, but Rapier of Wounding. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. That's a natural 20. Nice. Love to see it. Plus, yeah, right. plus the three, so from the D4. Uh, D8. Where are you at, D8? I know I have one of you. Two. <laughs> Double to four. Double to four. Brought back to two. Unless piercing's different. No. <gasps> Damn. All right, and then a wound on her. Okay. For uh, another 15 con save. Is that at the start of her turn, start of your turn? When does that kick in? Let's read. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wounded creature, on the creature. Oh, uh, no. What's her turn? At the start of each of the wounded creature's turn, it takes a d4 necrotic damage. So. Does she need to make the con save now, though, to see if she gets the wound in the first place, or does it just happen? Does yes. she make a con she to end the, it? She needs the con save now. Okay. And then at the, after she takes the damage, she... Her con save... is to, when the... the and then damage. after she takes damage, she can make another con save to try to end it, or else she keeps getting wounds. Well, that is a one, so she fails that con save. Cool. Okay. Wound the target. At the start of each... Creatures turns and it takes a D4 necrotic damage for each time you've wounded it. And it can make a DC 15 con save throw, ending the effect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's all your movement, or not all your movement, but I guess that's your end of your turn. That's action, bonus action, you moved. You want to hang out there? Move, finish your movement. That was 5, 10, 15, 20. Ready. You got 10 feet of movement left. You good? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, teens. 
Uh, I would like to move over towards where the chair is at. Okay. I think we've been doing this so wrong. Thirty to get you there. I have thirty-five. But, but do you, so. I mean, you want, do we want to get on this side of the chair or the front side? I want to be hiding as high of the chair as possible. Okay. <laughs> um, and then first thing I will do is wither and bloom at third level, um, in a ten-foot radius. Around Vlad, which I think should hit Karina. Okay. Uh, yeah. So she's within ten feet of him. They both need to make uh, Constitution saving throws, and then Riker can use up to two hit die um, plus five to heal. What's the con? Or what's the uh, 20. DC twenty? Uh, they both fail. Oh. Nice. Um, I was not expecting that. Vlad is going to use a legendary resistance to succeed, though. There you okay. go. Boo. No one likes you. Uh, okay. So, in reading the way the sword works, I think you're supposed to... The enemy is supposed to take the wound, take the d4 on their turn, and then they get to save. Yes. From, okay. Yeah. Because okay. I think we've been doing it where it's like, do they get the wound? The con save. If we, I don't remember no, we have done that a couple times. So I thought we'd been doing it that way. I don't know. So if she is wounded, there isn't a, there isn't a con save to see if she gets the wound in the first place, right? She is just wounded. She's just wounded. Cool. According to the way this reads. That's what I did. Um. So that was six points of necrotic damage okay. to them. Uh, they're resistant to necrotic. Oh wait, they have advantage on those guys. That's a natural twenty for Krina. And Vlad still failed, so make that total. Yeah. Uh, if they succeed, does that change? Is that half? It takes half. Okay, so that six is already half? Yeah. Uh, no, that is six, so half would be three, so I think that ends up being one, one. with the resistance. Yeah, so but they both take one point. That was a really good point before I did that, so... Sure. <laughs> um, and then we'll go ahead and use um, Eldritch Blast. Is Wizard Boom a bonus require- action? Uh, Eldritch Blast is going to require the okay. med magic. Um, so first one will be going towards Vlad. Um, sh- no. Karina's going to kind of spell your Eldritch Blast. No, I'm going to counter spell her. Okay. Haha, uh-huh. magic middle finger. Um, a Wither and Bloom is sorcery, so you need to roll for that. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Just because I already pulled one of these attacks. Um. Uh, d- oh, d- oh, d- um, my brain. No, because that's a dirty 20. Plus 12, 32 to hit. For one. Okay. And we're good on the wild magic. Okay. Oh, uh, your kind of spell is also a sorcery, isn't it? Good on that one. Okay. Good on the earlier one. Sure. Yeah, I totally. I just remembered. I was like, oh yeah, she's supposed to try to be exploding for all these. Five. Cool. So yes, thirty-two will hit. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be three points of radiant, four points of force, he cannot heal. Okay. We'll go ahead and do... Mm, four is seven, half to three. She got splash damage from you earlier. Yes. So she shouldn't be able to heal at this point. Yeah, we'll keep hitting it. This is the second time we have Natural one. Okay. Uh, 13, 25. 25 hits. <laughs> 10 force damage and 2 radiant. 10, 10, 6. I'm going to go use the restroom. Okay. At the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action to move. He becomes that mist again.
appears. That's not good. Here. Okay. It is now Krina's go. Krina. As I look up the details of the spell. Hmm. Concentrating on bless. Uh, ooh. No, that's not a good call. Oh, boss, I forgot she had that. <laughs> See, it's not just us. How are you looking? I'm fine. Okay. How is she looking, John? Not good. Okay. In that case, does she have. No, she doesn't. Okay. Krina will move. Can I hit her? Uh, no, she was not within 10 feet of you. Can I hit her anyway? And then she's going to cast a second level magic missile at Augustina. Okay. I don't know if teams can counterspell that. She does counterspell. Yeah, she just used her reaction to counterspell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine plus. So wait, where is that supposed to be? The moment where you're so confident that you remember a spell, then you go, but do I? <laughs> yeah, okay, so it is three plus one for every upscale. Mm -hmm. Go for a base was three or four. Okay, so that is three, nine, nine plus four is 13 points of force damage to her. How many? 13. She's down. She goes Wait, down. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh shit. Concentration yeah. drops. Sorry, I'm dealing with some horse shit. Uh, what's been happening? Augustine was down. Okay. okay. Um. Is anyone surprised? Da, da, da. Okay. That is the end of. Crap. Yeah, she took radiant damage. She can't heal that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the end of her go. Uh. End of her go, Vlad is going to Mary, you're concentrating. Hmm. No. Vlad's going to make an attack against Augustina, which is a two failed death saves. Cool. You got hit with the second level magic missile. I'm so surprised. <laughs> so, Vlad uses a second legendary action to attack you while you're down. Cool. Uh, it is now Camilla's turn. Camilla is going to move, and her movement does not provoke attacks. But why? Oh no. She's stunned. She's stunned. Yeah, I was gonna say. Never mind. I, I went to reach for her and went, that says stun, doesn't it? <laughs> nope, she's not doing anything. I was very confused. Because I have forgotten, okay? All right. It's almost like you put too many enemies on the toilet. You're not, you're not wrong. Uh, in that case, at the end of Camilla's go, Vlad will use his last legendary action. How many legendary reactions has he used? That's his third one. third on this turn. 
Dystopia. Oh, I messed up. Don't do that, Wes. We can go back and redo it if I'm not dead. <laughs> I mean, if we go back and redo it, he's going to bite you and not marry a tattoo. <laughs> Which would have been way better. Um, you're concentrating on Bless. I rolled to see which one he attacks, and he's going to attack you. So that is your last fail. Yeah. Okay. Kari. Oh, that last fail changes what I was going to do. Right? Oh yeah, I'm right there. Cool. Yeah. Um, Kari is going to finish off the wife. Okay. With a 29 to hit. Uh, 29 will hit. For, uh, oh wait, I get the advantage. It's done. Uh, for 14 points of damage. 14? Okay. No, that was not. How's she looking? Um, she's looking pretty hurt. Cool. Again. Uh, for a natural 20. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Twenty-three points of damage. She's still up. Uh, let me do math. No. Rock with that, nice. she goes down. So. And with that, uh, Vlad loses his additional action each turn. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, I, with that, I also gain 16 temporary hit points. Nice. Temporary. 16. There we go. Okay. Uh, where is Vlad in relation to me? Because I can't really tell where Cross he's at. Room. Vlad is here. Hey, oh, he will go over there. With 60 feet yeah. of movement, can I get to Vlad? Yes. Yeah. Can I get to flanking Vlad, or is Vlad flanked? Uh, possibly. Let's see. Can you make an acrobatic check to try to flip over the table? Sure. Uh, acrobatics is plus five, so that's a 22. Okay. Yep. 55. We'll get you sort of... Great. Right next to team. Final, final attack, activating the blade and shoving it into Vlad. Okay. Um, and I get advantage again, right? Uh, no. Oh, I thought you said I got Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get flanking. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, that's a 31 to hit. 31 will hit. All right. <laughs> now I have to remember how Shadow Blade works. Because uh, this cannot be reduced in any way, so F you, Vlad. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I get to scroll down. Uh, that would be okay. So first part is this. Plus,
57 points of damage. Okay. Is that all just the blade? Because the blade can't be reduced. Is there any other damage mixed in with that? Oh, um, 11 of those points were... is the punch attack. Okay. Well, this is if you're wearing... Give me what's happening. If you hit an enemy, you can still have a black special rage dealing an additional six Okay. Yeah. So, 11 of those points were the okay. punchy part. Okay, I said it was 57? Yes, 57. 11. Okay. Sorry, the light is yours. Let's go. Sorry. Does the face go- off. Guard does the Goku where like moves so fast he kind of just disappears. She ends up right behind him. The blade just pours out. And if you're in front of in front of Vlad, you just see where his heart would be. The blade just exit out the front. Perfect. And as he drops. The car is just standing as, there. as the blade's there, as he drops, you watch him sort of turn into a mist and then pff, disappear into the floor. Frack. I forgot they could do that. Are the wives still up? The wives are still up. Oh, two of them. The lad turns into a mist and goes in through a crack in the floor. Right below where his chair was. Start digging. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Good move, Kari. Riker, you're up. <clears throat> I'll go hit the wife. Uh, which one? You got Adriana here and Karina here. I really need that template. Um, Karina. Karina? Okay. Two kills in one turn. That's pretty solid. 18 to hit. 18 for Karina. Right. Um... <laughs> She's gonna cast shield. Yeah, <clears throat> we are investing in Marines, necklaces, and everything else counters for left. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. That one hits her. Twenty-five slashing and four radiant. Uh, nope, can't do anything against that. 28. 28. Hmm. 20 points slashing, 2 points radiant. 22. Okay. Uh, that was movement, action, bonus action, anything? How does she look? She is just now bloody. She hasn't really taken any damage. Bonus action dodge. Okay. Uh, after your turn, Vlad is not here anymore. Adriana. Oh, he died, right? Sort of. <laughs> Adriana is going to turn and attack the mayor. Nope. It's an 11. <laughs> That'll miss. That's an 11. Nope. Um, I'm sorry, that's a 19. That'll also miss. You're switching dice. Alright, so that's three whiffs. <laughs> no, she's not. What does she do? What's your DC now? 23. So I'm standing there, I'm like, yo, come at me, bitch. <laughs> she's trying. She's like, kink, kink, kink. Okay. I just don't even look at her. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Some yeah. Little kids just hate you doing nothing. That's all she can do. So, Mary, you're up. I just turned my back on her and ran on over to Augustina. Okay. Uh, grabbing the diamond out of my pouch on the way, and I drop down and cast Revivify. She got her reaction back. So she's gonna use it. No. Go for it. Now she hits you with a twenty-seven. Yeah, that'll hit. Sentinel wouldn't let me stop her, No. 12 points of damage. Concentration check. Uh, 23. Yep, okay, cool. 
However, you, you cast could revivify. use your reaction if she's within five feet of you and she made an attack on Mare to hit her with a melee attack. Yeah, I would like to do that. For Sentinel, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Everyone always forgets about the second paragraph in Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always like, yeah, you can't run away, but also like, because so it's the second paragraph that gets canceled out. Yeah. Okay. And because she was attacking there, I still get sneak attack. That would work, or no? Well, no, this isn't like my proper turn. Um. Would that count? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you would get sneak attack. Okay. I ask because I want to be sure. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't say it. I'm gonna, it's once per turn, not I'm round. I'm gonna use the stealer of the rest. <laughs> 21 plus 12. Yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, that's not as good as some of my other bullets. Uh, we'll make it work. We're going to figure out how to make it good. So that's just 20. 20 reduced to 10. Boom. And then uh, 6 plus. 56 plus 7, so 9 for the slash. The psychic. 9, 8, 4. Okay. The psychic is 3. 3. Perfect. And then Constitution save. No, she already used her reaction. She used her reaction to strike out a mare. So she doesn't have one. She doesn't have one to give. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But you, so you take the diamond out, place it on Augustina, and cast a Revify. Yep. Augustina. I rolled an 11. You rolled an 11. There we go. I do want to ask. Yes. Since I'm now aware, you know, I was dead briefly, could I try to hear anything? <gasps> I forgot about that. Um, I, I think it was too brief. You keep your little special talent for yourself. That's fine. I'm alive again. <laughs> Some people were dead for a long time. Tell her to stop getting you up and maybe you'd hear something. <laughs> <laughs> Give me just like a minute. It's just, let me listen. Let me put my ear to the metaphorical door. Shoot, give me 10 days. You know, you got time. <laughs> Okay. Honey, I'm just going to go and walk about for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like going to the mailbox and back. It's fine. <laughs> just give me one of those geeky things here, you know. We'll be fine. Yeah, it's this arcane device I've heard that the clerics... We just need spits! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayor, uh, that was movement, action, bonus action. What was your bonus action? I haven't done one yet. Um, I'll take uh, bonus action dodge. All right. Uh, Freddy. Oh, hey. I'm going to finish her. Cut her up. Okay. Out of context. It's very bad to say. Um, Don't do that. Unless you use steady aim, you do not get sneak attack on this one. Yeah, I will use steady aim. Okay. I got nowhere else to be. This is my this is my afternoon. <laughs> um, eighteen and twelve. That hits. Yeah. Man, fuck y'all. Internet people. Sneak attack. Also the vampires. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know they're they're less relevant to other things that are annoying me. I totally forgot Vlad had mage armor on. Or mirror image. Mirror image. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You've done that with me too! Thanks for the reminder, John. No problem, bro. <laughs> I'll remember that. You killed his wife. <laughs> God. See, uh, if, if you hadn't done that, I might have actually told you, but you killed someone, so I felt like it was even. 25. I'll remember that. <laughs> okay. And then, um,. For the slashing is eight, and then for the psychic it's one. You dice, and then uh, Constitution saving throw. What was it saying? Twenty-one. 
She doesn't have a reaction. 25. 25. I know, but I wanted to say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case she was thinking of having one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare even have these ideas in your mind. You dang dangies. Alright. Uh, so that's the end of your go. Teams. Uh, first question, does Riker look any better than he did the last time I seen used with her in Bloom? No. Okay. Um. How are the wives looking? Uh, Adriana is very hurt. Cream is not quite bloody. We're gonna go ahead and do do witch bolt at Adriana. Okay. At second level. That is an attack roll or a save? Range spell attack. Okay. Yeah. I'll stand, stand up. up. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. Just seeing him fall like flat <laughs> Lay down, oh. peek around, Mayor. <laughs> Which one? Uh, so that's going to be 28 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Um. That's seen from Atlantis. Nothing personal. <laughs> uh, nine points of lightning damage. Okay. And then I will use uh, two sorcery points to turn Wither and Bloom into. Or no, I can't do that because it's. Okay. We'll use two sorcery points to turn. Eldritch Blast into a bonus action. Okay. Um, would Bless still be active on me? Yes. I'm just concentrating on it. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure since I died if yeah. it's different. Uh, went off from a natural 20. Um, that's fine. I'm not upset. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a 32. Against Adriana still? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's... Uh, that's gonna be 8 points of force damage. Okay. Next one's gonna be a 26. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, yes. Uh, it's gonna be six points of force damage. Six. Okay. Nope. That. Adriana goes down. Oh. Awesome. Ooh. So we'll send the last one over at Karina. Um, 25 to hit. 25 will hit. That's gonna be five points of force damage. Five reduced. To As two. Augustina sends two Eldritch Blasts off to Adriana. She looks Mary directly in the face and is like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, before she turns around and hits Karina. Okay. I'm saving your life. Fuck you too. She doesn't say it. It is the look on her face. Like, what is wrong with you? Because it's like she looks over, she sees Riker, and she sees you. She hits Karina and is like, what is wrong with you? And then goes over to hit the last one. At the end of your go, it is Karina's turn. And Karina... Will cast Dimension Door. Uh, Counterspell. <gasps> oh shit! Mm-hmm. Yep, she's gonna she's gonna <laughs> counter you at fourth level. Okay. 
It's our last fourth level spell slot. Um, Damn it. Roll for explosion, please. For Wither and Bloom. No, you didn't. No. Witch Bolt. You didn't cast Wither and Bloom. You cast Witch Bolt, which Witch is. Witch Bolt is Warlock. Perfect. It's a counter spell. Counter spell is. Okay. And we're good. Okay. And. Karina. Dimension Door is away. Question. Yes. What is Dimension Door? Is it something where she casts it in steps? Or does she cast it on herself? Because if she steps, I get to hit her. It's a teleport. Okay, that's what yeah. I was wondering. Yeah, it's a teleport. <clears throat> okay. And with that, there are no immediate threats. What is your help? Time, Time for looting. looting. Riker will uh-huh. ring. Time for finding bodies. And give you 15 that's hit points. Looting. We're looting their lives from... The- um... Is there any way that we can trace these people? Track them down. Do we? Well, well Kara saw the dust go down, right? Yeah. Um, I'm immediately going to go start opening doors and seeing if there's stairs going down. I, okay. Let me check the damn doors do, first. Do we want? Do we want to take five minutes and grab dessert? No. <laughs> we want to do adventures, damn it. Okay. Well, I will narrate adventures and somebody get me dessert, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll do. We'll do. But we can take five minutes. Yes. We have fifty. Do it. Alright, we press the button. God, here we go. Okay. Wesley, does, does Kari know a thing? Uh, yeah, make a religion check. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, whoops, wrong mouse. Oh, that's right. Um, 17 plus a whole whopping one for 18. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. You, um, you remember from your studies the annoying detail about vampires is that when they are hurt bad enough, they will turn into a mist and go back to their crypt to rest. Kari is yelling out, they're not dead yet, we've got to find their bodies. <laughs> Great. Do we know how long until... How much do you remember from school times? Wes? <laughs> as Kari is, check. <laughs> as Kari is Speedy Gonzales zipping from one room to the other. <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to check the doors for traps and unlocking and all that good stuff. Let me double check that actual. Are we still going in initiative order? No, we are We are out of initiative. Okay, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick mass healing word. Okay. And then I'm going to call over my shoulder as I head out the front. I'm checking to see if Beak and Dimble are still alive. Which, to be fair, mm-hmm. they heard that I was attacking. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they have, what, six seconds of warning? Boom, we're gone. <laughs> a 17 for everybody. Yay! Nice! Okay. We love our cleric! Mm-hmm. Um, you would know that it would need to be there for at least an hour, if not more, before it starts, actually. So. Yeah. Got about an hour! Arcusty is going to try talking to the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does Augustine try talking to the house? Uh, I think she just kind of, like, looks up and she goes, Um... So... Uh, Vlad said that you're listening, and I don't know how much that extends to things, uh, but, you know, there's a lot of, like, pain and torment that come into this home, and if we can get rid of the person causing that pain and torment, maybe we can give you some better people to live here, who will give you a nicer, a nicer environment to exist in and lives to experience. If you want to help us, we can get rid of him. Unless this is a monster house. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> See, quick, pretty for you. <laughs> okay. Make your persuasion for a little disadvantage. <laughs> I'm unlocking doors. Okay. You, you talk to a house. Okay. Um, you were going out to check on... Dimble and Beep. Um, you go through that first set of doors and back into the foyer, and then you try to open up that second set of doors. And as you go to sort of pull on them, uh, there's a little bit of uh, resistance. Make a 
Uh, strength check. Dirty 20? Dirty 20. Okay, yeah. You manage to open up the door and you see uh, Dimble is still sort of crouched down working on the barrier and as it sort of opens up, he looks at you and goes, Hi, uh, we got the notification, um, but still can't get through the thing. Is everybody okay? Sort of like peeks through the door to try to look past you into where everybody else is. You know, Christina died again. She's back. But they're looking for the floating mist remains of the vampire. Oh. Right, well, if you got them down to a mist, then yes. Uh, should probably finish him. Um, finish him. The the I mean, the wolves seem to have he hung out with Brooke. gone at like, this point. <laughs> true, true. Vika's oh, calmed down, but they're not. Yeah, I mean, That's how long ago did he die? He probably about oh, a few seconds ago. The howling stopped, and they Thirty went. Seconds and, ago, give or take. Oh, well, then. Yeah, timing sort of works out. Um, yeah, we're oh, good out here. This ward is. I don't like it. It's kind of... <laughs> can't get through it. It's really... Is the channel open? Bothering me. Anything I can help with? How familiar are you with abjurations? Not at all. But I've got a fair bit of energy still. Uh, <laughs> Enthusiasms and... I, I appreciate if I can find a use for your clerical energy. I will most definitely get, uh, give you a call with the... It works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. He sort of like crouches back down and begins to like working on more things we'll to try get to another stone and put him on our family. Plan. Find his way through it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, like Augustina doesn't have hers, but Augustina also has one that connects her to Riker for when. Riker's got two mics, one in each. Weird. <laughs> <and all that. laughs> He's just got headphones on. Okay, so you were going and opening doors? Yeah, I was going to start checking the doors for Okay, traps well, you got door, 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 door. Yeah, so that way we have options to look through. And <clears> what, which one are you starting with? Uh, we'll just go around clockwise. Okay. Just starting in... Uh, then make me four investigation checks real quick. Like, as he oh, unlocks... Kari will go the other way. Okay, so yes. you you make two, you make two. Does... Brenda was saying something. Is yes. still no, Bless is not up. Uh, I was just gonna okay, say, like, as he's going around, like, if, if he's just unlocking the doors, like, I'm, ha like, unlocking it and doing, like, a quick open to make sure nothing happens, Augustine will, like, take whichever one first and, like, peer through to see, like, what's down that direction so you're not, you can move a little bit more quickly. Did you say investigation or text? Yeah, investigation. Uh, 16 and 26. Uh, 16 and 26. Yes, you're good. The chair. The chair. <laughs> 19 plus 8 and 7. You want the chair, no. Okay. Oh, or uh, actually, no, seven, seven to ten. ten. Yeah. Um, you guys go and check those four doors, and they are all uh, not trapped. Cool. Cool. Um, unlock them if they are. Does the floor so sound they're hollow? Perfect. Where he went down. No. Do you see that there's like a little, like a like a little hole directly underneath where his chair was? So it's not hollow. There's not loose boards. It's mm -hmm. solid. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Eventually, yeah. Okay. The two doors, like, of the four doors, like, what if we... So... What do we immediately see? So, as you go through, uh, you know that this door, as it opens up, leads to the hallway that had four other doors behind it. There was one there, one there, one there, one there, down the hall. That last door... This is the one that we went through? That's the one you went through that okay. led and to that room. there's more doors in here? Yeah, there's more doors in there. Um, uh. As you... Open up that door. Um, you peek in and you see a collection of. Uh, it, it it looks like a trophy room with the various of like there is both, uh, like monster heads and things and like <coughs> animal heads, but then also like people and like. That's gross. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, like. 
he's weird and gross. Is are there you say trophy room? Are there like what any weapon? No, no so trophy isn't like animal it's trophies. Explicitly, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It's, cool. it's a hunting, it's a hunting gonna, trophy. I'm room. gonna close that door. Yeah, We're so that's ignore that one. For that's right. a trophy room. Not on that, but um, we'll, we'll put a pin in that for later. As you open that back one, it leads to a hallway that has another door directly across from it, and the hallway sort of goes down and bangs that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you open this door, it leads to a small chamber that has another door leading that way. Uh -huh. okay. Found doors. <sighs> Gotta go check. I'm gonna go down hallway. Which one? Um, northwest. So this one? The first the first one I opened. Okay. So yeah, so this one because if if we're if he's sitting here, like if you're sitting here you're opening up this yes. door. Okay. That door leads to um you walk out and there's immediately like a sh very short hallway leads to another door. Okay. Open the door. Do you want to check the other Kay. one? I mean checking for traps would open the Kay. door. Investigation check for traps. <laughs> Plus, let them run up for a minute. Well, I guess I'll go open 22. <clears throat> 22? Mm -hmm. It is trapped. Uh, magical or uh, like mechanical? What kind of trap do I find? Uh, seeming a little bit of both. <sighs> well, Great! <laughs> I'm gonna. I was going to head into the. the the door here to because there's four other doors that mm -hmm. need to be checked but i hear that over the loudspeaker i sigh i turn around fuck <laughs> and i walk in that direction okay you turn around see that car is nowhere to be seen and go i'm snagging and just again. gathering weapons and putting them in the bag that fell okay um Ooh, yes the only great. weapon that dropped was uh when vlad it seemed that everything he was carrying also just disappeared with him. Uh, Adriana's though, when she died, so you have her longsword. It seems just to be a regular longsword. Cool. What, what kind of sword does Vlad have? He has a short sword. Mm. Oh, wow. That's, that's my mercy. So, right, y'all are convening sword. at the locked door. Okay, uh, y'all want to make a thieves tool check? Try to break through? I don't want to, but I will. I think is fine. <laughs> Which one of these dice do I want to use? I'll use this one. That's a three. That auto tens. Uh, no, not on thieves nope, tools. Not on thieves tools. Right, so it's only an 18. 18? You go to try to <laughs> poke through. Yeah. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, awesome. I'm good at those. Efficiency with the thieves tools count as that, though? Um, it is skills, not a tool. Skills. Now, yeah. is Bless still no. in for this? Bless dies after a minute. Okay, cool. So, no Bless. Con saving throw. Saving throw. 21. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, you take 19 halved. So, that would be uh, what, 19 to 18. So, 9 points in necrotic damage. As this resistant to necrotic. Perfect. So nine half again to four. So as this sort of mist spills out from around the door and just seems to like envelop you. That's stupid. Um the well, was, trap remains. The trap remains. So was can I can I tell that that was the trap? Uh you were attempting to as you sort of went and Looking at where like the lock is you're trying to finagle the lock and feeling around within it uh, You feel that you triggered something mm -hmm. um, As you were trying to Reach through the lock and like past is one of those like open locks, you know, like old timey sure, sure. So you're trying to reach past the lock to reach the trap that's on the other side yeah. And you feel like that in your attempt to sort of mar whatever is back there um, That's what triggered it. So you feel like the the Magical nature of the trap is still like, persists, so you can attempt to try to disarm it again if you want. It will be harder. It might be a little harder. Okay. I will try again. I tried to jump out. Can't tell if that's six or nine. That's a six, so 
three points better on that. On that. No, it was 18 last time, so it would be... Um, 21. 21, okay. That is good enough. So as you reach through yeah, and you yeah, feel yeah. like just on that cusp of like oh, you're I'm almost quick. about to feel the trigger and you like brace yourself. Yeah. Um, but you manage to just disarm the lock and open it and the door swings open and you find a fairly small room with just like uh, a hole in the center of it and it looks like there's a rope ladder going down. Mm. Found a hole. <laughs> it with a rope ladder. <clears throat> ground ground hole. Alright. Curry is gonna come in. <clears throat> How much damage did you take? Uh four. Four. Yeah. Okay. Carly Curry that uh, uh, Curry will that's passed by. Oh. I can work here. And cast healing bird. Oh my goodness. Okay. For four points. Four. Actually, yes. <laughs> exactly four. Well done. Yay. So what are y'all doing? I can see it just hanging out. <laughs> Riker has informed her about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we should go. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Mary, are you joining them? Or are you still out, out the front? How's it going, Dimble? Well, uh... Yeah, it's complicated. See, th the problem is, is that it's not just the base shielding here that's preventing the, the entry of Veek, but it's more also of the, the shielding itself is resistant to actual divinity. It's not a full resistance, but in that is also a layer that welcomes and yet also he can shut out whoever he desires, not based solely on the simple aspect of what, who they are, what their legion, but to detect a divinity within an individual, but then also be able to block them out by nay. Complicated. <laughs> so it's no wonder I got through. Is there anything my presence here will assist you with? I think in the nicest way. No? <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. Well, um... Apparently we've been summoned. There's a... Fairly, uh, interesting hole. <laughs> somewhere I've had. Um... Oh, if you're looking for a crypt, that would kind of make sense. You gotta go down, so the hole. How dangerous is this likely to be? <laughs> How dangerous is anything in this day and age? <laughs> Exceptionally so. Got it. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best luck on your endeavors, and I will cast guidance. Okay. Yeah. And he'll, let that hang out. He'll, he'll take that while he's. I'm back in. Okay. Y'all go to the hole? Go into the hole. Okay. So y'all meet and begin to descend. Before we go down, how is everybody living? I'm currently fully healed. I am as close to fully healed as I need to be. I'm not bloodied. I'm not bloodied anymore. Do we want to spend potions? You don't look exceptionally great. Your path is still a little pale, Augustina. Do you have any assistance? I can't talk to you right now. And she's just gonna walk it down the hall towards the hole. <laughs> Was there something I said? He's not there. I'm He's at not the hole. Oh, that's right. So sorry. At the hole. Literally was right You were the last three trailing up when she said. I turn and I talk to the empty room. I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there will be conversations that need to be had later. Would you like to come with us? Not particularly, but I cannot trust you not to die if I don't. Apparently I can't trust anybody not to die even if I'm there, so I might as well. 
And I turn and I just walk past him. <laughs> Everybody's high speaker. <laughs> Riker. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I was just gonna say, like, Riker's like, how did I get in the middle of this? I was nice at my home with my brother, and now I'm here. No. What happened? He's just gonna well, smile. She's definitely a scourge. <laughs> 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 okay, so y'all go and begin descending the rope ladder in what order? Uh, I found the hole. I'll go first. How, how wide is this hole? Uh, like enough to fit you, like it's. And brave enough to explore uh, new holes. And it is dark and down. You got ready? Okay. Why? Is it, is it? Is it? Is it? Do we feel dampness in the air? <laughs> no. Is it moist? No. no. So it's it's a dark, dry hole. Yes. Well, is it dark? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. We needed to know. Uh. How deep, how deep what's, the what's the order of the three? Yeah, how deep is the hole, Wes? Very deep. The, uh, the dark, do uh, dry hole sure is very deep. I'll, Does it seem like it seems? Dro- I'll drop in after Mary. Okay. I was going I really to jump in like before Freddy, uh, but of you being up here did. alone. Well, I was the one that found so the one. So you go hole. down first, yeah, but you're because there's <laughs> at least people who have cleared, and then yeah, I, hope I don't know where the other vampire lady went. So as you guys are descending, Freddy. Hey, what's up? You discover first, as you are descending down, it is pitch black down here, and you are climbing for a little while. How, how a little while is a little while? Like, minutes? Yeah, like a couple minutes. Once we get out of the light immediately around, if it's dark, dark, I'll go ahead and I'll cast light on Okay. something. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we have this some light glowing. Freddie, as you're climbing down, um, you get further down and you realize that you run out of rope ladder, but with your dark vision, you can look down and realize that you're 15 feet above the ground. As the, the rope ladder seems to end at the top of this hole, and you look down and you're like, oh, there's ceiling. The room below, mm-hmm. what there is can see. Stone. Stone, like does it? Well, you're you're, peer, you're peering through. No, it looks it looks like the stone of the estate and everything. Okay. Else. Uh, so you're looking that. through like a hole straight down. What you see sort of is the. Well, we can tie ropes and all that fun stuff. You know, immovable rod and uh, do we want to do that? We'll just tie a rope to the rope ladder. All right. Okay, so you. Tie a rope real quick. Well, Make that. a slide of hand check real quick to see how well you can hold and tie and do all that. Oh, no. <laughs> how good are you at tying knots? Captain tying knots. Uh, I'm a pirate. So you should be really good at that experience. I should be good at that. I don't know. Uh, 23. Okay, yeah. You managed to I did it. securely tie a rope, and as you descend down, you guys she. <gasps> This a new room. Which so where is my descent? There. Oh, in the middle. Awesome. So you guys see uh, with your dark vision as you are looking around, uh, you see there are what looks to be some glow or some uh, runes uh, on either side, and then there are different runes placed on different parts of the walls. Okay, you nine. see there are runes here. Perhaps runes we found a, a puzzle. I read the runes to get a sense of what they are. Uh, they just seem um, so base arcane in nature. They're not necessarily saying anything. Are the anything. runes like these thingies? Yep. Yeah, what about this? Yep. That? Okay. I take my light and I take a step or two closer to go look at it. Which one? This one. The one closest to me. Okay. Because so there are there's these here, and then there are. Two here and two here. Yeah, I got a little more. Okay. Uh, looking at it, it seems to be make a um, arcana check. It's on the on the T bracket here. On the T bracket here. Mm-hmm. It's the, been a couple of minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'll guide myself. Okay. This side, mm-hmm. they're on this face, but on <laughs> the side that's facing Brenda and them, it's this way. Yeah, there's one there, one there. Okay. 
Dimble's about to crack the code. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I no, I like. I really respected that because <laughs> it didn't even click until you said it. <laughs> like that's genius. That's a big old six. Not sure what it does. Is it a different color? Is it just carved? Uh, it seems inert right now. Mm-hmm. I still step slightly out of the way. Okay. Should I remove it to say? Yeah, August, Augustina, there's nothing, there's not runes to read per se. Like, they're not, mm-hmm. not words. Just, I think you have eyes of the keeper, right? No, um, I just have really good arcana. <laughs> That's all. If you would like to try to make an arcana check on one of them, you can. Do you have a preference? There's three different types in here. Can I potentially do three different Arcana checks and we're sure. just like the one that's closest to me migrate to the next one and then the next one just to see? Sure. Okay. Like a rock throw <laughs> First one's a 12. Okay. Um, we'll say that on this one, you don't quite get exactly. Next one is a 25. 25. Okay, you go to one of the ones that's on this side, one of these, and you get that it is 25, you get that it's Connected to its pair and a key. Are you saying it is a key or it is also connected to a key? It it is connected to its pair and it's a key. Okay. And we're when we say pair, it's clearly the two on the far walls, the two on this face, and then the two on these faces. We, we, we're sure of those being the pairs. No, they, they match. Okay, this one. Yeah. Class runs at 26. 26. Uh, you get the same sort of identifying from these type. That it seems to be connected to its pair and it's also a key. Uh, doing sort of a lap around the room, does, is there anything else about the room itself that stands out that either looks out of place or... Make a perception or investigation, either one. Can I do like a check to see if the room like natural one something? for three? Like the kind of thing where you have to you know, put blood on it or feed it something that it wants. I'm gonna try to do a check to I can kinda of make an arcana decipher on that if you want. Yeah, you're not. Um, oh shit! You can you can definitely try whatever you want. But. I got a cantrip. Feed it an element. Cast some fire on it or something. What are you doing? No objections. No. I have a small suggestion. Mm. I have a dispelling stone that mm. allows us to um, destroy any active spell at fifth level or lower under ten foot seer. So I don't know that anything's active right now, but they seem like. 25 and 26 tell me that. Uh, they, yeah. Because my eight They're not active so much <laughs> as in... Sort of in sleep mode? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, we get, oh. you can bust out the magic stone. Or, I guess it wouldn't do anything with it. Never mind. Not yet. Okay. Not only that, but it's going to... Then keep that ready. Augustine is going to have it on her hand, so if anyone ends up getting to it before her. (laughs) Faster reaction time? We'll pick... Let's pick... That one. 
Okay. I'll stand kind of like over here out of its way. Okay. And tell other people to fucking move. Get Kari out the way. <laughs> and I'll just cantrip fireball. Put a fire on it. Okay. What does fire do to it? Doesn't seem to react to it. A whole lot of fucking nothing. <coughs> this is the scientific process. <laughs> we gotta test shit. Well, fire didn't work. My blood. Probably. I did not want to go there yet. Well, that seems to be a common thing. Give myself a little pit and prick and put my thumb on the runes. Okay. You give yourself a little pin prick and you put your thumb on the rune, and as you touch the rune, that rune seems to light up. Fuck. I think it's blood. There's the other one that's it's, matched it's, to that one. Over here. Curry will go to that one and do the same thing she did. Okay. Do you take your hand off of that one? If you, when you touch it and you go, I think it's blood, take your hand off, it goes, and deactivates. Hmm. It stopped glowing when I moved. Try it at the same time. Two, four, six. Okay. Two, Count us in. Five, three, two, one. Okay, so Mayor goes here. You go here. And I'll go three, two, one. And this goes me. And that light turns on. Cool. Do we keep our hands here or do we try to take them away? Well, there are four vampires and there's four rooms, so I feel like we need... Two others to do the other one. Fuck. I'll go too. Kari, as Kari's still <laughs> here. Like, just looking back at Mary, like... Augustine just, like, swipes a hand on some wound that's still... <laughs> I know. Same. <laughs> Same. I'm not gonna... Okay. You never cut your hand. Augustina goes, and you said same, so you guys go and... Yeah, I'll wipe blood off of myself. And okay. I assume I got bloody. And as you guys go and... Touch those. This wall goes, and then the and ceiling goes. drops on. It. <laughs> this wall goes <gasps> the way. Secret doors. Secret door. I got pointed. Door. There's another door. There. Riker will start walking towards it and looking. Cars with. I guess the hands behind. And as you all take your hands off, the room stay lit. Yo, cool. That's one way. <laughs> <laughs> at least we have to do this every time. <clears throat> and really, at least we can all go. None of us have to stay here holding it mm -hmm. open. That is very true. I hope it stays open until we leave. So what do we see down the hall, Wes? It's not a hall. You see a door. Or, it, it, like the stone moved out the way to reveal a door. I will check the door for traps. Okay, check it for traps. <laughs> I'm uh, going to dead stopped in the corner. be against that wall, but looking out just in case something behind us happens. What, right here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I heard beat against the wall, and all I see well, your... in my mind is it's that was an investigation, right? Yes. Okay, so 1908 <laughs> for things. Okay. Uh, you realize it is locked, but not trapped. Go for lock. Really want a door kick in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be right. Just like this is taking too long. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. You manage to yeah, unlock the door. <laughs> really? <gasps> oh my gosh! What do we reveal, Wes? Tell us the story. <laughs> oh my gosh! So suspenseful. <laughs> Play that in school. During football games, I was more stand tuned. Why did you play? Saxophone. I think we still have my saxophone somewhere. Hey, I couldn't play it if I tried. Are you a saxophone master? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, no, I enjoyed marching season more so than the concert season. Just, you know, the marching is fun. What sort of evil lurks within, he man? That was a good one. What, Skeletor? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, he man! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> you bait a cock, he man! Through the door. Shit! You see? Do 
the mold a the coffin thing is cool. Good. Oh jeez. You see. I don't like the red lights. Karina? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Great. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> She's still alive. That's oh, unnecessary. Shy. Really? <laughs> Maybe they're on our side, Wes. Uh -huh. Maybe they're You're on our memeing side. on us, right? That's so unnecessary. That's hilarious. <laughs> I feel like I'm being memed on. I love them and I want those minis. <laughs> I was so happy when I got them. What are these? The, the Boneyard collection. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what those minis called, so though. Funny. Assuming it doesn't. Uh, giant skeletons, what do you think they're called, bro? Oh, that's why I asked! <laughs> Are they giant skeletons or skeleton giants? Oh my god. There is a difference. I imagine. Okay. Giant skeleton. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know if the, the... I wonder if a giant, like a fire giant skeleton would be different from like a storm giant skeleton. They make a frost giant skeleton I, mini and I really want. I would imagine. Oh. Okay, so here's my question for the room. It's five to late. Do y'all go into the room, or do we do the room next time? I'm, go I'm, I'm having fun this. killing shit. Okay. Do we all agree? Lauren, you got the one to strive. I'm uh, house-sitting. Oh, nice. Okay. So, oh. No, so, really, I think I have the longest drive. But. So finish the room? Let's kill shit. Let's do it! Okay. <laughs> So, uh, as the room goes and you open up and you, you see. Enthusiastic about killing. Did you want to, Lauren? That's fine. Let's kill them. Okay. Is it about the playing, or is it the in-game, the characters, and other citizens? Yeah. Uh, what? Just like <laughs> you had a deep sigh. That's yeah. just checking on you. Yeah. Like, are you needing to leave? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, then it's game. <laughs> okay. Then, in that case, as y'all sort of pour into... The mayor just walks in and it's like, how do I keep these alive? <clears throat> Door opens, Riker, with collective. <laughs> with the collective. Obviously, it just automatically reaches out <laughs> to the protection from good and evil on Riker. Okay, so with that, uh, initiatives. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, well, that's... Uh, what are we doing here? That coin's good. I missed it. Uh, you don't beat me! I'm running over you to get in there! Oh no, you, you beat. I'm gonna be in everyone's way. Riker! Spread them! Whoa. Whoa. He's in the position. <laughs> All right, well, I just wasted my two natural 20s. <laughs> All right. You love that. Greater than 20. <laughs> Over 20? 24. 21. Okay. 24 Hello. is Kari. I did 19 for you. Sure. Yeah. 21 for Riker. I feel like those are the exact same initiatives as before. Oh no, it's 25 and 24. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Corey and I, he took my number. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. over 15. 17. Mare's going high I today. Mare's climbing the ladder over here. <laughs> I got a dirty dozen. 12? <coughs> I got a 12 as well. Okay. Pretty sure I go before you. <laughs> 100. Like mirrors over here, just like maybe if I go earlier in the initiative, this great. Well, I'm standing in the freaking door in everyone's way too. It's gonna be awesome. Mirrors just becoming slowly more and more paranoid. <laughs> yeah, that, that tracks. <laughs> All right, uh, Kari, top of the order. Um, so Riker's in the doorway. No, that's ready. Oh, that's right in the doorway. Sorry. Um, well, how how high is the door frame above Freddy's head? Uh, not very. Really? Those two giant skeletons are oh. there and this big of a door? You can bring in a skeleton bone by bone and then reassemble <laughs> them inside. <laughs> it's like when you hear <laughs> stories of people pull out of friends where they take a car apart and put it in the person's house. Can I, just can march, I the, march the bone in long and then... <laughs> can I see Vlad's crypt corpse thingy? Yes. Uh, can I see the wife? Yes. 
Can I... You can move in a space that is your friend's at difficult terrain. Uh-huh. Uh, or I can poof over to her. Okay. Good luck. To beat the poof? Poof. She did it, so... Exactly. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Kari's a, just going to start ending her existence. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> Which one is this? The one that was still up? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, your poof to poof puts you here. That's fine. But you're still within melee of her. Cool. <laughs> Quite literally, close enough. Uh, 27. 27 hits. On the first hit. Okay, where is she at? And 30 on the second hit. <laughs> Stunning strike. Uh, we'll, we'll see if I need it. Okay. Uh, both of those are good. 14 for the first hit. And 12 for the second hit. Okay. How, how bad was she damaged before we got there? Uh, not terribly, but she's also had a lot of time to recover. Okay, um, yeah. As so, vampires are known to do. Yeah. Um, key point. Boom. Uh, that's Lauren's, Lauren's got the right idea. Um, 23. 23 to hit? Yep. yep. And second one, natural 20. Okay. Nice. How many key points do you have left? Uh, nine key points. Okay. Two, two, two. So, first one is 13 points of damage. Okay. Second one, yes. 8, 16, plus 7, 23. 23 points, and I'll throw a stunning strike on that one. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, so you said 13 and 23? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Let me quick math. Okay, and Stunning Strike can say 22. Um, yeah, saves that of it. Okay, uh, that's the end of your go. It's her turn. Mm-hmm. She... Oh, is this your natural 20? I will natural 20 for both of them. Oh. I burned both of my nat 20s. <laughs> Don't you worry. She is... <laughs> Doesn't have very many high level spells no more because she burned them all in there already. Counterspell. Uh, Counterspell. Uh, pretty much. Counterspell. You're welcome. That's exactly what it sounds like. Fireball, Counterspell, and Dimension Door kind of does it. <laughs> so, what is she going to do? Die. That'd be great. That's my bill. She. Take a bath in holy water and pray. What, is, what does that one do? That one be good too. Uh, that's actually an epic way to kill a vampire. <laughs> just like drown them in holy water. It's like it's that like seems the, harsh, but so good at the same time. Like, well, it's like when Batman was chasing the guy and he fell into the thing and then he turned into Joker. Except this time they dissolve like sugar and coffee. Hey, she's going to hit Freddy with <coughs> chill touch. Neat. Okay, was not expecting that. Is that chronic damage? No, that's no. necrotic. Necrotic. Oh, okay. Well, I'm because I'm resistant to both of them. That's why. Um, I feel like chill touch. Though. Eight definitely. It, it's just a no, stupid no, name. It is the worst. It's like it's it. not touch range and it is not cold damage. Yeah. <laughs> Ray of frost is cold. Chill touch is not. It's so dumb. Anyways, does the eighteen it's hit the you? Chill of death. Well, I imagine I'd have my swords out. So you could so call it that. Nineteen. <laughs> my <laughs> okay. So no. Touch of death, so ray of death. Sacred flame also is not fire damage. Uh, and so it's sacred. That she will at least get away from me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> for a twenty-four. For a thirty-one. Thirty-one that hits. Um. For thirteen points of damage, and can I try to stunning strike her on this? Good, yeah. All right, try it again. Take two. Uh, sixteen. Hold on. Where's my 
right. So I know your wisdom dropped because you're unattuned from the. Uh huh. I mean, by one though. How much did Cheryl? 16. 16 is exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was 16 before and dropped to 15 yeah, or well, 17 that, before. Yeah. So, uh, that sucks. Uh, that's all right. Well, at least you got the hit on her. Okay. Uh, end of her go wrecker. Are these things moving? As in, are they alive? Yes. Yes. And you can tell that. Perfect. Well, let's go. Is there anyone I can get to that gives me flanking? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> So you're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Sorry. You're good. 13. Let me just see that. <clears throat> just is it. Right. So. 22. 22 does hit. 10 points of radiant. Okay. And 10. 26 points of slashing. So 26? Yes. Slashing? Okay. So 36? Yep. How are they doing slashing? <laughs> Fine. Like, no eh, way. It doesn't really affect me. They're not resistant to slashing. Okay, no. good deal. <laughs> Does the radiant seem to be doing anything? Mm-mm. Okay. Do not doing anything or... No, it's resistant. doing normal. Okay, good deal. <laughs> <laughs> kind of matters. <laughs> um, no, your hit didn't do anything. None of it. <laughs> uh, 18. Shit. You went to stab at him, all you stabbed was through the bones. Totally missed. <laughs> uh, 18, 18 hits. Start the clock, the skeletons laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take their hand and go, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 37 points. Okay. It's going to be 23 to hit. Thirty-one points. Ooh. Nice. Uh, well, that Bonus. was 104 points of damage in a turn. Bonus Ooh. action dodge. Okay. Uh, at the end of your go, it is their turn. I'm glad I died. So they will start. That one next to you will make three club attacks against you. Giant club attack, technically. Uh, 18, I think, misses you. Mm -hmm. That will also miss you. There we go. 23? Is that with disadvantage? Oh, no. Well, there's a natural 20, so yes, 23. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Uh, can I use silvery barbs? It already rolled disadvantage. Okay. Unless, does this silver bar, bar do disadvantage Ooh. or re roll the d20? True, your creature must re roll the d20. So, the yeah, roll. you could. Can you use the lower roll? So, so yeah, you could cause. Uh, Because it doesn't do disadvantage. You can't double disadvantage, but you could force a reroll <coughs> on that other one, on the one that hits. We'll force that reroll, and then you get advantage on your next attack. Yep, that's two on the die. Okay. Oh. Thank All right. you. Well, that one missed. I love you. <laughs> so. Oh, you do stay back there. <laughs> the uh, the the other one will make three attacks against you now. What? I'm shocked, I tell you. Shocked. That's a natural 20. That's a natural 19. Sorry. So, 27. Hey, your disadvantage has <clears throat> caused two natural 20s to miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I forget that you have 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Thank you. 17, I think, misses you. It misses. And 21. That hits. Mm. 
20 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, well that was their three attacks. I can't really move. <laughs> <laughs> You Did could. I know that this would be ridiculous when I planned it? <laughs> yes. Do I think it's funny? Yeah. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. They're originally going to be ogres, and then I got those two minis, and I went, I'm going to use giants, not ogres. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fair. <laughs> so, uh, that's the end of their go Mary Grub. <laughs> cool. Uh, with Riker taking the blows, how's he looking? Uh, under bloodied now. Is the they are too high for destroy? So turn them. Um, it's a wisdom save. Uh, this happens every time where I have the uh, description for destroy, but turn is somewhere I cannot find it. It should be a wisdom save. Um, the giant skeletons have turn immunity. <gasps> oh, does just and it's thirty feet. Radius, I believe. Mm -hmm. So let's yeah, it's a wisdom save. Let's see if you get right behind Freddy. See if you can get old girl within thirty feet of you. What's up, my butt's in your way. <laughs> What's up, it's my butt. <laughs> uh, no, she is outside of the thirty. So you try to destroy slash turn, and they seem unaffected by it. I like how the description says, I present my holy symbol and I'll speak a prayer censuring the undead. So basically I'm scolding them. I'm like, bad skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, ooh. Uh, that's it. Okay. okay. I will action surge. Yeah. Okay. And I will go ahead. Destroy undead, look at the picture in the pop. And I'll use my, let me check, one thing real quick. Uh, I'll make sure everyone can get this. Did holy. I was yeah. the holy music. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, not intentional, just good time. <laughs> what you doing with the action surge? Okay. Also cool. right now too. So, at the back of the room. Okay. Um. That's you know within sixty feet of me, right? Uh. Yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm double checking, but yeah, it should be. Cool. 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 <laughs> yep. Um, so centered as far back as I can get it, I cast Dawn <laughs> and oh. a 30 foot radius, 40 foot high cylinder of bright, bright light glimmers. This is sunlight. Um, each creature in it must make a con save. So, um, so that's going to include card. I'm sorry. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, you said 30 foot. Yeah, radius. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's so, a 60 foot diameter, so yeah, uh -huh. that's gonna be a card. So it's sticking out the back. Uh, yep, you missed Riker, though. Extreme sun. Alright, so what do they need? Okay, good. Um, it's a constitution that's save. Fine. My DC is 20. Okay. Um, they'll take radiant damage on fail or half 
as much as a success, and it almost it also must make the saving throw whenever it ends its mm -hmm. turn in that cylinder. <laughs> and this is a concentration, I imagine? Con yes. <laughs> so as <laughs> soon as I set it, okay. I'm going to back up and out of the way. Okay. Uh, both the giants succeed. Trina does not. Feel the power! Sunny D. Car's gonna Sun. kick off the ledge. <laughs> yeah, might as well. So, <laughs> when clerics cast fireball, it's <laughs> radiant. <laughs> and it persists. Um, so that will be 27 points of damage halved okay. for the giants. 27 halved to 13. No. I don't want to wait. I have a thing. I don't have to die. 27 to old girl. What is our, what is our bingo inspiration add? It's Ad advantage on a roll. Okay, I'll take that advantage. That puts me at exactly 20. <laughs> <laughs> so you take 13 points of rating now. That is so much better. How low are you? Oh, I'm, I'm not even bloody. Talking about you're gonna die. You no, I, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> well, I, still have, I still have 10 hit points. Okay. Cool. You didn't even, you didn't even wipe out my 10 hit points. Yeah, but no, your phrasing was like, I'm gonna die because of this. Well, well I, would, I, I also said, I thought there was. Would this count as a worse. dungeon? A dungeon? Uh, kinda, yeah. Well, he said, yeah. We had yeah. a dungeon! I got a bingo! Uh, that's not the points I needed. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have anything dungeon here. Yeah, me either. Have we made any unhinged <laughs> decisions that become canon? I don't know. <laughs> Riker attacking a vampire? <laughs> I don't know if I would qualify that as unhinged. But or or, or was the unhinged y'all making the deal with the vampire in the first place? Nah, <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> okay, so that was your turn, Mayor. Very successful turn. Uh, Freddy. Hey, so I've got ideas. Um, if... I were to walk into that space between betwixt the two big men and bust off a thunder wave. That would also hurt my friends, yeah? Uh, it depends on the direction of the thunder wave. We do not have a 30 foot radius thing big enough for your bullshit, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, because it says it's a, it's a 15 foot cube from self. Yes, so if you, to try to hit both, you may get Kari in that. You may not. Is that a death save? Constitution save. Okay. Um, I mean, because do, do, you, do, your, do your thing. Do it as I willeth. Do it as you willeth. Because I feel like I remember... Thunder wave being thunder damage being good on brittle enemies, and they're skeletons. So All I right. think I don't know if you can do. There's a range of the um, wrong. Warren's bullshit. <laughs> 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 Everything from here back is bad. <laughs> you can move through it, like you can go in and out. Just don't end your turn in it. Okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll go into the room. They physically cannot get far enough away from it. <laughs> That's awesome. It sucks to be them. I'll go Amazing. into the room and get betwixt the two large gentlemen. Okay. You have the drill. And then you go 15 foot to be coming yes. out of it. I'm upcasting this to a third level thunder wave. This does it. 4d8s. 48? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty cool. Exactly. I'm going to assume I have to make a con save. Yes, you will. Okay. Good. Why am I not? I'm like, yeah, trying, trying to think. I'm trying to I'm stuff. okay with all of this. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, right. note to self, I need to make a thunder wave cube. I don't have thunder one. Wave cube. Oh, shoot. It's up at the house. I have one. Alright, so it's a 15 foot cube oh, from you? Yeah, 22. Let me see. Let's see. Not, yeah. not, not a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, actually, there. Carter, you're gonna be in that. I figured. Okay. That was Con saves? 
Okay. Uh, it's half on a success, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. On a successful save, creature takes half as much damage and is not pushed. Okay. On a failed save, they're pushed. What's the damage? The damage one, is one failed, one succeeded. It was twenty-two damage. Twenty-two damage. Okay, so one succeeded. And the, the, the save was the attack on the save was like sixteen. Okay. Yeah, one got a twenty-something. The other one rolled a one. Cool. This one took twenty-two. Okay, so no extra dablage from thunderiness. No. Okay, I was taking a, I was taking a gamble on a thought I had. This one takes it, but twenty-two. It's fun to use other things, and I think and is so. rocketed backwards. Yeah, into the sun. And explodes and dice. Yeah, Yay! I sort of did it. How much damage did it take? Sorry, twenty-two. I did, uh, twenty-two. So eleven half. So yeah, as you shoot your thunder wave, it like gets rocket backward and, and bones just sort of clatter back this way. Yeah, One of them conks Kari on the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, uh, is, what's her face in there? Does any of the debris hit her? No. She didn't die yet. Eh? It's the end. Okay. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> she in the middle of the sun. <laughs> am I? Am, I'm not in the sun zone, am I? No, you're not. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of Freddy's Go Teens. How is the wife looking? Oh, she I would have moved closer to the big guy that's left. If I... You're right next to her. I didn't think I needed to, but it was. Uh, so she put a heart. She put a heart. heart. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and... You want to stick your head in and do a thing? Um... Go peekaboo. I got you. <laughs> we'll go... We blew up a together. Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh... 22. 22 hits. I'm putting them up. Seven points of force damage. Seven reduced to three. Last one is a 13. Last one's a 25. 25. Eight points of force damage. Eight reduced to four. Um. Oh, that was a spell. No, she should have taken half of your, was it 27? Your radiant damage, I believe? Yes. That was a spell. She would have taken half of that. And also, she should have advantage. Doesn't matter. She should take half. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Because she should have taken half from her spell, not the full damage. Well, fine. She has resistance to spell damage. Uh, she I have will... resistance to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> when the sun is a magical spell, yes. I'm going to use my last remaining sorcery point to give myself another first, um, or no, I'm going to use my bonus action to turn a spell slot into a sorcery point. Okay. Okay, day. All right, uh, it's the end of your go, teens. Kari. Uh, Kari is going to keep hitting the wife, I guess. Chase after? Okay. How, how, wait, how close? She's way over here, dude. She's in the corner. Right, but how close am I to the skelly thing? You're right next to him. Just hit him. Just hit him. Yeah. Also, you know, you're in the, you're in the splash zone of sun. Yeah, you don't want to end your turn there. Yeah. But, but why, the, the wife person is there, right? Mm -hmm. She's getting microwaved. All right. Let's just, let's do this. Um, She's going to be roasty toasty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let it happen. Uh, all right, I'm going to go. Depends on what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go <laughs> hit hit wife. So I got hit points. I mean, okay. It's hard to argue against hit points. Okay, that's a uh, 23. 23 hits. And, well, hang on. Cause she's looking pretty rough, right? Mm hmm. So, um, 15 points. 15. Punchy damage. Okay. Um, and then 29. 
29 hits. 13 points of punchy damage. Okay. Still up? Mm hmm. That gun, you. Point for 29 to hit. Okay. Yeah, nine points of damage. Okay. And with that, the last life goes down. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Um. So I technically have another attack. Mm hmm But I really, really, really want to try and open the lid. <laughs> How thick <laughs> does that lid look? Yeah, it's probably made of stone. It looks pretty heavy. Like, you feel like you might be able to do it, but... Is... Okay. Uh, and it, you feel free to tell me no. <laughs> Can I try to open the lid with my last little bonus? It'd punch? probably take more like an action to try to lift that uh, thing off. Yeah, that's... Yeah, all right. Kari is going to run back to the other skelly out of the mayor's blast zone. Um... There is no spot next to the other Skelly out of Mary's last time. <laughs> also, Skelly should have made attack of opportunity against you, which he didn't. That's a miss. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, um, fine then. Uh, Kari is just going to get out. Do you want to get the skeleton or get out? Oh, dang. Just get out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, Kari could maybe use a tan, but like... Okay. <laughs> Maybe not that she's, much. She's been she's been rocking her pill form for a while. Kari gets out of the blast zone. You'll mess with Queena is dead. <laughs> Riker. Did I notice her ashes go anywhere? Miss did she missed out? No. Okay. She just died. She's good gone. She's not a full vampire. She doesn't have that sweet ability. She just did. Trying to Eldritch blast the lid of that tomb and crack open. I mean, I could mage hand the. I was gonna ask what the movement is to get to the crypt. Uh, you you could get there in thirty. Well, you could attack over Freddy at Big Boy. Yeah. Like Riker's just livid at everything. He just wants to go like. I mean, you could you wise. You could run up there and try to. It's not wise. I'll duck, you stab him in the ribcage, and I'll stab him in the pelvis. It'll be fun. <clears throat> yeah. Eighteen? Exactly. Eighteen <laughs> will hit. Five radiant, twenty-two slashy. Five twenty-seven. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Eight radiant, twenty-three slashing. Seventeen. Seventeen just hits. Seven radiant and twenty-seven slashing. Thirty-four. <clears throat> Bring, you can do this. Okay. How, how, how hurt? He, he pretty hurt, but not quite done yet. Come on, bonus not action punch. Yet. You could? Oh, cool, we'll bonus that. action punch. Okay. Uh, Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine hit, yeah. Twelve. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it is his turn. Hey. 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 Uh, 27 hits you. Uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, silvery bars. Yeah, that one. Okay. You get an advantage. Hey, 12 to hit you. No. Silvery Barbs, where you get that from? That's a warlock. Or no, 
That is. I think I still have advantage. Fey <laughs> touch. How many, okay, how many times can you use it? You can use it once out of Fey touch, but then you can use your spell slots to continue casting it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here's a quick question. I looked. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Well, she gave me advantage for my next attack before, but mm-hmm. I used a spell instead. So do I, do I have two advantages now? No, I only. I didn't think yeah. so. Sentinel. Yes. Within five feet. Yes. Am I, am I within five feet or no? Because he hit somebody other than me. That has the same Sentinel feet, so it cancels. Uh, yeah, sentinel and Sentinel. Yep. That's the one thing. If he had attacked anybody else, but because he attacked someone who also has Sentinel. Oh, this target doesn't have that feet. Sorry, yeah. I thought it was the attacker. That, well, that misses you also. I tried. I mean, he didn't hit me anyway. 25. Because uh, she's awesome. Um... <laughs> Is it just the one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. just the one. Instead of the two. Uh, I'll, what, I'll cut the damage in half instead of shield. Okay. So that's reaction. So let's see here. That would be... And... She's playing a little sea shanty that you found her. 18 yep. points of bludgeoning damage. So is that already half or no? No. So no. 18 half nine. Yes. Kill. Yeah. Well, that's all he got. Uh, Mayor? Uh, oh, wait. So does he take key? Ended his turn in your. He needs to make a con save? Uh oh. Yeah, con save, DC 20. Well, that's a fail. Did you roll more than two dice? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, that's it for him. <laughs> yeah, that's it for him. Uh, the radiant damage to so, like hit his like toe that's sticking out there, and it just like Dude, burns, and the whole yeah. thing just it's burns like and to sniper jackal. turns to ash, and then pff, falls. Very nice. Neat. You we killed did, them. We did it. We killed a skelly man. Yeah. Is it still bright? <laughs> it's yeah. It goes for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, Can somebody we? open I mean, the crypt. I'm perfectly fine to try and like Eldritch Blast it so well, that I was we can gonna keep say, daylight running. I've got a rope and a hook. I can mage hand the hook onto the thing and we can pull. I'm fine with that. We do that. I use <laughs> mage hand. I send the hook over there. Okay. Good. What to shift? What is it? I help. That? Well, I, I don't know. I can also use a bonus action to move it if I'm within 60 feet of it, so I can scoot it a little bit back. <laughs> it's on the wall. <laughs> Garrett, rope of recoil. Attach the rope of recoil to the grappling hook. I see him. It's out of the way. <laughs> Kari's back up against the wall. I get out, get out, get out. <laughs> I see that happen, and I'm like, nope. I'm <laughs> forced to send the hook over there. I find the place that's good. Like, Augustina, Augustina will have used Eldritch Blast to put a little, like... Mare, Mare goes to stick her head in and see Augustina, like, backing up and picture her head and goes, Ouch. I, like, I, like, loop the rope around the sculpted head and arm or whatever just to get it so it's real good and on there. Y'all sort of get back and then go... The F out of his way. One, two, three, yoink. You do. Okay, nice. um, make a... We don't really have stats for rope or recoil. It was a magical rope. Yeah. Um, you didn't plan for this last year. You know, I really should plan for a rope of recoil more than I do. <laughs> hookshot. Yeah, let's... A rope of hookshot. Let's have you make Ooh, a... We a put it on a movable rod, so the immovable rod is... Make, make an intelligence-based sleight of hand check. So, are you proficient in sleight of hand? I am. Do you have expertise in sleight of hand? Pretty much switch out your deck stat for intelligence and add all other additives. So what's your total number? My total number for sleight of hand is 10. Okay, minus your dex from that. Well, dex is 10. No, your, your dex score. Or, I'm sorry, the dex five. Is okay, so 10 goes to five. So add That's in five. your intelligence to it. So three. So, so eight. eight. So make it make it eight. Can I give him advantage on this if I use like catapult to help with like or guidance? Here's the well, well, he still has I, his I advantage, count. right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah. You do. Anyway. Never mind. Yeah. It'll still auto ten, but it'll be. Okay. So it'll be at least eighteen. And I have advantage on this because mm-hmm. thing. King Carter is over there. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that well, so that's a seventeen. Okay. Plus. 
eight. Plus your eight, yeah. So you feel very confident in the way you have Michan's secured yeah. that to it. I tie it, like, what, what, it, what is the sculpture of the, can I, can, do we know? It seems like a, uh... It's like a person? Yeah, it seems like a relief of, like, him. I'm hoping it's a thing of Vlad. I, I wanted to tie it around, like, the neck or the, <laughs> something on there and, like, tie it around, like, one of the arms, hoping that'll break off. As okay, it yeah, you feel fairly secure, and then as it goes, boom, and this thing goes, and flies off. Do we need <laughs> that? Um... Yay! How glorious is his death? <laughs> Well, he's he's laying down inside of things, and none of y'all can see it. <laughs> Do we see? We don't hear oh. him screaming. No, he has not yet woken up. Um, <laughs> Do we need to roll the but, but uh, <laughs> yes. he's not going to wake up as y'all managed to. I see a cat's slither bloom, so it wakes up. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> y'all managed to Peter sufficiently <laughs> execute Vlad Jimmy. in his sleep. <laughs> I. I Vampire who's Does he crack for a pop? millennium. I don't feel that. I don't think. Do we see steam? <laughs> yes. After the, the, the daylight smoke. face, car is going to go check and make sure that there is nothing but a pile of ash. Oh, no, no, no. The daylight's not coming down until we know for sure he's dead. Well, right. after a minute, the daylight fades. Um, before the minute is done, I'm going to go in and I'm make just sure. Saying this okay. Is yeah, you're gonna rush in. He send Freddy because Freddy can get in and out real fast. I'm and also resistant to the radiant anything, so uh, I'm it, going. He is dead. Cool. Ba, 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 so we blew ba, his ba, 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 sarcophagus. Uh, the only oh, thing. the house. The only <laughs> thing you find in his sarcophagus besides some ash is his sword. I will scoop that out. Okay. <laughs> Take his, it's a short sword. Is it just a normal ass short sword? No. It has some magical, you can attune to it and figure out what to do. I'll put it in my belt for now. So Maybe now I have sure four swords one, on my belt. That one's not cursed either. Uh, part for the course at this point. <laughs> okay. And so we will pick up next time with the looting. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got another house! Okay. Man, by the, by the time this is all done, we're gonna have all kinds of real estate. We're gonna we got the woods. Really said. We got the cabin in the woods. Now we have Spooky Castle. <laughs> Shit fire. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I I don't know if y'all named it. I don't know. whatever. But like, you know, we're 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 branching out. It's great. <sighs> Everyone has a house now. That, that that's you all get this. A house and you get a house. That's all this was. Just the millennial dream of how much this campaign. <laughs> You want to own a house? Go on adventure and do murder. <laughs> I mean, save the countryside from a vampire, get a free house. I, sounds yeah, like good. Sounds yeah, like a fair know. trade to me. I was gonna say it's a little, it's a little more. 